Hey everybody, welcome back to Tuesday Night Shadowrun Missions here at Rem Alternus. We were not here last week because we were kicking off the Kickstarter for Cottlesworth's Clockwork Circus, which is the um, comic that uh, comic series that I'm writing uh, and is being illustrated by Slobodan Jovanovic. And if you weren't paying attention, uh, last week on Tuesday, we actually hit our five thousand fund dollar funding goal in what, like fifteen hours, less than fifteen hours, fourteen hours and nine minutes for those who were counting. Um, yeah, and and so that was amazing. There's been uh, a lot of good uh, reception, a lot of positive reception, a lot of uh, there's been some positive press, and uh, yeah, it's um, it's it's pretty exciting for us here. Uh, we are now, I think, at about 130% at 6,000, just over 6,500. And, um, and it's, you know, uh, every time, every time we talk to somebody new or, or have an interview or, uh, anything like that, it's, uh, it, it ticks up just a little bit more. So, um, getting the word out is, is really what's going to make that happen. So, uh, we're trying to get it out as much as we can. And, uh, anyone who's watching this, if you want to help, uh, and it's still February, 2021, uh, you know, put the word out. Uh, we really appreciate that. Um, in other news, uh, we have two vacancies tonight. So apparently kickstartering is really, really time consuming and takes up a lot of your bandwidth. So, um, with Rem Alternus running the Kickstarter, uh, Sarah has been really generous. I just have to worry about like, you know, turning in stuff and then I get to be excited about the whole thing. Uh, Sarah is really putting in a lot of this, uh, you know, the hard work and and just, you know, doing a lot of outreach and everything like that. So it's, um, it's a blessing for me, but it is definitely um, very heavy on her shoulders. And so she is uh, just gonna kind of take a little bit of a break um, from the streaming tonight and you know we'll uh we'll see her um maybe next week and uh satchel uh chris is out because unfortunately um he did have a death in the family and so they are attending the funeral for that um and so our best wishes go with chris uh, and his family um you know uh life carries on uh, even when we are trying to escape in our little worlds here so with that, though, we do want to go ahead and get into the game, pick up where we left off from, which being two weeks ago, I will do the recap uh, for everybody. So uh, Liberation is SRM um, 504. They were asked by Lothan to recover for him a canister from the Chicago Field Museum, the ASPS, the Astral uh, Preservation Society. Um, I missed a word there. That's embarrassing. I wrote the section on that in Slipstreams. Uh, so, um, Astral Space Preservation Society. See, it's it's a it's all up there. So he's, but Lothan's going to pay them a lot more than just a quick fetch quest would be. So the team's obviously thinking there's going to be some shenanigans. Uh, they get there, and the two individuals from the ASPS basically say, yeah, we'll give you the canister, but we need you to do a thing for us, uh, which is take this to the crater where it's super highly radioactive and stand around with it for 15 minutes. Uh, the team says, yes, they're going to do that, but secretly they're like, brag that, we're not going to stand next to the crater for 15 minutes with this thing. So they go and buy a drone to drop it off, and uh, they decide to have one of uh, Nico's spirits kind of help out and assist with the, with the process. They get there, and everything's going to go well, except there's comatose bugs everywhere. That's really scary. And then there are, um, there are these two green kids uh, that want to play and they think everyone is there to play and so they're trying to play uh which is of course messing with this task of getting the 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 box in place and, and doing that so they dealt with that the box fell over somewhere um i mean it was in the vicinity of the crater for 15 minutes so they grab it off they go they have to drop off their um new friend media or uh, lisa lisa as i like to call her at the hospital because she decided to go in and play with toxic radiation kids, which is always a good time. 
Uh, and so they left there, dropped her off, went back to the Chicago Field Museum to turn over this machine and get the canister, uh, and just wandered upon a basically a siege by the Swamp Things, uh, attacking the mage and his partner. Uh, they were defending themselves. The team came in. They kind of helped fight those guys off. Uh, Satchel ran up to give them the device and get the canister. They took the device, and then they're like, canister, swamp things, yeah, go do. Um, so there's a little bit of, of tension and frustration around that. Uh, Nico decided to try to posture up on these guys because uh, reading their auras, he didn't feel like they were very powerful. But then they revealed that they were actually quite powerful. And he realized there was more to this magic thing than, than even he kind of thought. And so they, you know, they didn't take offense. They got, uh, you know, maybe got off on the wrong foot, but, but they were willing to kind of show Nico what they could uh, and, and kind of direct him to a place where he could learn more. Afterwards, Etienne discovered where the Swamp Thing's hideout was by hacking into their motorcycles of the of the ones they they beat um there was one that got involved in a really brutal accident uh that had nothing to do with um with gertrude and her shotgun mm -mm. Um, at all nothing whatsoever to do with that uh just he just crashed um, mm -hmm. but uh but you know all their motorcycles were there and they wait they why did he these... crash again i forgot why he crashed uh no reason at all he was driving too fast when he got hit by a shotgun shell. So if he hadn't have been driving too fast, he wouldn't have crashed. But what if he didn't get hit by the shotgun shell? Would he have crashed? We'll, we'll never know. So then we'll never know if he would have crashed if he was driving the right speed either. I'm so just saying that if he wasn't driving at all, he wouldn't have crashed, like shotgun shell or not, right? Like, it doesn't matter. Right, like but if, if he there was a driving... shotgun shell, he also would not have crashed, correct? And that moment... No, I mean, he might have been a really bad driver. Well, can't you get hit by a car even if you're not driving? Yeah, you can also get hit by a shotgun shell if you're not driving. You can also crash when you're not getting hit by a shotgun shell. I mean, there's lots, lots of permutations. So either we're saying neither one of those factors causes death or both. Which are we saying? He happened to be driving in the same direction that my shotgun shells were going. Wait, whose shotgun shell was it? <laughs> Okay, I just, I just, I, I'm sorry. I just, I, I was, I was confused. My bad. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So, sorry. so yeah, so Etienne uh, hacked into the bikes. It wasn't hard, and found out where they had kind of, you know, cross paths a lot, and uh, you know, did some, did some uh, analysis, and they have decided that they know where these guys' hideout is, and so that's where they headed. Uh, they are a couple of blocks down the street from the hideout, and. Let's go ahead and push did, did, the hand did we, out again. Uh, did we have the time to uh, do a, a little detour to my garage so I could pick up armor that is not just a, a t-shirt and a pair of jeans bought at a stuffer shack? Yes. Uh, Alternately, you could have grabbed an armor jacket from one of the guys that, that you... Oh, yeah, no, I think that's what I did. Yeah, so... Um, because you don't know how long they're going to be there, if they're going to be there, if they're going to, like, what they're doing with the canister, et cetera. So uh, you had decided to kind of get there as fast as you can. So um, right now, Etienne is very plainly a member of the Swamp Things. It says right right there on his jacket. Um, so. Yeah, he's not very good at pretending, though, so. Yep. All right. So. Uh, once again, this is the area in Calumet that we're talking about, and there is this, um, right above the smack center of the map is a little brown house that has some trees around it. Uh, it's kind of just sitting there by itself. That is where you're pretty sure that they are hanging out. Okay. Duryea is, is going to break or something. I don't know what's happening over there. I'm sorry. I he just... was listening to Kids Bop earlier. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and actually, you know. can I? Do I have like time to tell a story? Or no? You want to hear a story, chat? Never mind. I'm sorry. It's just really funny. But I'll tell you later. I heard I'll it's a really later. funny story, chat. It is hilarious, but I think it's funny. So if it's not funny, then I'm going to look really stupid. 
Kenner Mage says yes, and what Kenner Mage wants, Kenner Mage gets. So okay, there's this, there's there's this. I'm gonna tell it like the abridged version. There's this troll online, and he's trolling, and someone pointed out that he may not have like, you know, been that smart. He's like, oh, this pro- this guy probably like, you know, he didn't graduate high school. He's 21, and the guy goes, and so um, later he's like, I bet your IQ's probably around 80, and the dude goes, nah, it's 100. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whatever. Fine. I'm the only one who thought it was funny, but that's hilarious. Wait, is 100 is not a high IQ, is it? 100 is is right in the middle. That it's is funny. Absolutely average. Right, but then he said it's not. He's like it's around 80. It's just, nah, it's 100. But 100 is definitely around 80. So. Okay, fine, fine. I'm the one who thought well, it was funny. At least Kendra made she to have appreciated it. So yes. there thank you. Go. The one thank who asked for it. Mission, appreciate mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Here's your karma. Yo, Kendra All Mage right. always has my back. That's why I love yes. them. I love Kendra Mage. Yes, there we go. All right. So um as as Nico is laughing about some stuff he's reading on his on the on the little feed on his on his com link, uh you're you're a couple of blocks away trying to, I guess, figure out how you wanna approach this. So Remind me, uh, hadn't we started making certain decisions already? Because I remember you said you wanted to stop before we went to this next part because it was going to be very involved. Oh, it is going to be very involved. Right. So hadn't we started hadn't we started doing things already? Like I think I had cast some something happen. We were prepared. Well, we are I believe that Nico had cast a few spells that do, were do we um, remember what those spells were? Uh, maybe a little bit. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see here. On your core. Oh, what is going on with the character sheet? Yeah, I don't know. The editor seems to have broken or something. That won't be good at all. So I did have in my notes that we were doing a drone flyby and as he was researching on the matrix, but I didn't write anything down about a uh, Nico. All right. One moment folks. While I kind of try to figure this out. <clears throat> right. I remember, I remember we had decided for me to go to sleep and rest so that I could heal. And while I was resting, everyone else was going to do something um, reconnaissance-ish. That's what it was. Yeah, because you took a lot of strain. Right. And we didn't want to use a stem patch. So, and that's where the drone thing came in, I think. That sounds Man, so this is, this is not cool. Because I remember, um, yes, that is what happened. But it's been like two weeks now, so yeah. I, I'm healed. <laughs> fully. <laughs> We've been sitting in the van for two weeks now. Right. It's Gertrude, so I'm sure there's like extra food and such laying around. So there is, but I didn't bring any extra wet wipes for showers. Oh, I use wet wipes for shower. I'm a nocturna, so I just kind of do one of these. <laughs> oh yeah. Maybe not other nocturnas, but this one, he's he's all for a good spit, bro. <sighs> Oh, happy yeah. post-Super Bowl, everyone. Like a holiday. So it, so it looks like what happened is maybe uh, Emerald Grid maybe removed one of their, removed some of their assets 
just kind of from their account. And so it's replacing the asset with a, hey, this picture is missing, which is really big. And it's pushing all the stuff in the header down so that we can't. It's breaking the sheet. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. That's, that's problematic. Breaking the sheet sounds like a 90s R&B song. Yeah. It's. Um, that's fair too. It's. Uh, and I know that they're not doing work on this anymore, but. Shh. I'll have yeah. to send a thing. I, I mean, we can't. Yeah. Yeah, the, the sheet is unusable now. Yeah, we can't play like this. It's like, depending on what tab you were on last, that's <laughs> what tab you're on tonight. Um, shoots. Let me reach out and maybe see if... Reach out and touch somebody's hand make this world a better place it may do ten that's the eddie murphy version from when he was on saturday night live yeah all right here we go sorry uh Folks, we're yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, technical is... difficulties on the uh, road to any side, apparently. And, uh, I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of this. All right. That sounds like an '80s uh, a detective from what, what? What's a good era for detectives? Like 1940s. I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. You're talking about the noir era. Yes, that's the era I'm looking for. Somebody tried to sell me this whole story about how um, a certain superhero who doesn't have any superpowers and just has a lot of money and is also not a billionaire philanthropist is um, a cool superhero because he's a detective. Are you talking about the arrow? No, I'm talking about um, literally the most billionaire that doesn't have any actual powers, but just, yeah. That but arrow, like, like that to me, like, I don't know anything about Arrow, so. But the other one, the one that like everyone claims is somehow able to defeat everything that has super strength and super speed and super abilities, yet he has none. I'm like, look, whoever whoever privileged came up, like somebody super privileged came up with that guy. We're gonna make the most powerful guy the guy with the money, okay? Because that's the solution to all the problems. But yeah, so do we feel like he's a cool character because he's a detective? That's not why I think he's cool. And you think he's cool? He's, and whether or not he's cool depends on what one we're talking about. Which one are you talking about? Well, I'm of the same character, right? But there's lots of different iterations and ways that he's presented based on who's telling the story and what story it is and where he's at, right? So there's the one that kills. There's the one that doesn't kill. There's the one that's played by, uh, you know, Michael Keaton. There's the one that's played by Ben Affleck, which was. Um, ben Affleck, actually, to me, <clears throat> he's the only one that made sense in that role. To me, he's the only person that I was like, "Oh, that's what he's supposed to be." Because, like, when you when you read about the character and then you see the character, like the cartoons and stuff, it's like, okay, but when you see in the movies, he's nothing like that. Because I feel like the cartoons is the best depiction of all those characters because they don't have to wear a budget, right? Ben Affleck right. was the first of all the one who physically looked like what they make him look like in the co- in the comic books. Christian Bale did this really strange thing with his voice where he he talked like this. But then what's frustrating about Christian Bale is like all you could see of his like face was this much, and his lips used to do this thing where they would fish up when he would talk, and I like notes of his lips. So he's, this is the entire movie for me, and so I could literally not sit through any of those twice. I saw all of them one time, and everyone's like, the Dark Knight series is the best. I'm like, why? Who? Who paid you to tell me this? <laughs> but I'm just saying. So you think he's, he, he's cool, huh? No, he's all right. I think um, what's really interesting about him is his villains, not so much him. His villains are very interesting. That's true. He's got the best villains out of any comic book series ever. Like, literally, like you can list ten of his villains just off the top of your dome. 
Yeah. Iconic. Yeah, somehow you you really got a whole him versus Superman movie. How? Why wasn't that a three minute fight? That's just yeah. Yeah, that's something that has been done on YouTube before by people with little budget and it's as you said, it's right. three minutes and it's nice, but you don't need to make it a giant production of an hour and a half movie where it doesn't Because it wouldn't be. You know what it reminds me of? The Super Bowl this past Sunday. They thought that was going to be a him versus Superman, but you see what happens when you actually put a a child versus Superman, right? (laughs) Smackdown, real quick. Yeah, I I don't know much about football, but that was pretty brutal. Well, basically, the the, the greatest of all time was up against like a newer, hot quarterback, right? And everyone's like, oh, this is going to be the matchup of the century. And I'm like, y'all not realize that he's the greatest quarterback of all time? And this guy's like fresh out of college, and we really feel like there's going to be a uh, a challenge here. So it's like you realize that he's a, a billionaire, and he's an alien from a planet that makes strength from the sun, specifically ours. Okay. But they have the same mother. They have their mothers have the same name. Oh, that that levels the playing field. <laughs> Actually, I hey, watch Justice League. I finally watched it. And man, that was hot garbage. It was so bad. Except for the part where Superman comes back to life and beats everybody down. It's like, yes. Okay, look, so yes, there can be some good action sequences in a film, but that, that film is not trying to be, that, that film cannot rely on the strength of those to carry it. Like there's films that are like, right. man, that's a really bad film, but that's not, you're not watching it because you're expecting, you know, some some Golden Globes performance, right? You're watching it because it's looks like it's going to be a, good time like um mm-hmm. uh sucker punch right like that movie was so cheesy and just over the top but you knew that's what it was going to be that's what you went to go watch and when it was you know you're happy with it because that's what it was and that's what it wanted to be but um justice league no um i watched this breakdown of like why like why it does it doesn't work compared to like the avengers um and it really hinged around the scene on the ship where all the Avengers come together and then they start arguing and, and breaking down, right? And this, and because there's parallels in both movies. Like as the movies go, there's like the similar kind of bad guy things, similar good guy things. You have the similar levels of powers among some of the good guys, et cetera. And, um, but when the, when the Justice League get together for their big meeting, their big tension is, I'm gonna bring Superman back to life. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, probably gonna do it eh. and then <laughs> and then like and then he does it and then like it's done like there's no like there's like there's like two seconds of superman is evil superman you know and but he then, wasn't even evil he was just bro you killed me right Batman. and right. so you have some money so smackdown time sure and and so like that happens and then you know it's and then it's done and then wonder woman's all like oh you're right See, I think the problem, first of all, the biggest issue to me is that like when you went into the Avengers, as an audience, we were only really being introduced to one new character, Hawkeye. Seems to be working for me. The, uh, So, like, when you're introducing only one new character and all the audience has, like, a personal relationship with every other character already, it's even, even the even the other, even the, like, the non-main characters like Nick Fury and Anita Hill and Agent Coulson, like, we already had a connection to them. So, we didn't really have to introduce anybody. And then, you know, you introduce Hawkeye, you immediately put him in danger. So, we care. We didn't, we didn't really care about these other characters yet. Like, we knew they were as far as, like, their characters, but, like, these versions of them, we had no connection to them. So you want us to, like, have this in, 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 intense empathy for these characters, and we just don't have it yet. And then you put them in danger, and it's just like... And then you didn't build up for the villain. Like, who was the villain in the Justice League? Um, it's been too long. I don't even... There you go. Some, but I bet you know who the villain some, was in the first Avengers. Some guy. 
Um, it's because I rewatched it recently, but I don't have a very good memory for that kind of thing. Well, I mean, you have scenes like when he was like, when he yells at the Hulk and tells him that he's a god and everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, at that point, you had a connection to him as the villain. You had a connection to the Hulk. Well, because, you know, even with three failed movies, you still cared. I don't know. I just feel like they're, they're, they, they try to do Avengers, but, like, in the microwave. And microwave food isn't <laughs> ever as good as, like, when it's fresh out the stove. That's well said. As Next far time. as hero movies, uh, the only thing I want is a new Constantine with uh, with Keanu Reeves. They're making one. I don't think it's yeah. going to have Keanu Reeves in it, though. I don't I know. Mean, but I know they said they're making because they're going to do a Justice League Dark. This is the thing about the DC universe, though. It's very inconsistent at this point. And I don't think they care because they're about to have three different Batmans come out in one year. Apparently, they're doing a Batman with Michael Keaton. Um, where he plays like the older Batman. There, there's one with Robert Pattinson that's already being filmed, and there's another one coming out with Ben Affleck. So they're going to have three Batmans in the same year. And this is if you don't include the Batman who's on Titans, the TV show. So, I mean, they just, they're just like, okay, let's, let's make things and see what works, and whatever doesn't work, doesn't work. So, uh, does that seem to work with everybody? It kind of does. Um, hold on a second. Am I the only one who doesn't understand what's going on and just <laughs> fill well, <in> space? <laughs> Jim, please say you're lost, too. I know you're not, but just make me feel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I agree with you on Batman and. Um... I'm not lost on the on the fix that we got shown for how to make our character sheets use, useful for the moment, but I like the Bat family, the people that are around Batman, like Nightwing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Guys, so I'm just learning about the other Robins. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, as far as I was concerned, like because he was actually my favorite character growing up. See, the difference between him is that like. He doesn't care so much. The money's not the solution to everything. So when he's up against the thing, it's like he's actually got to deal with it. You know, Bruce Wayne doesn't have to. So, and also he, he doesn't, Robin doesn't pick fights like Bruce Wayne picks. Robin picks like fights that an acrobat can win. He doesn't go try to kill super alien. He just puts them on his team. <laughs> Look, sometimes you need a super alien girlfriend. Right. So it's like, Okay, you come hang out with me so that way. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> now. Listen, have you seen Titans, Jen? Yes. I I love it. It's and I I already loved uh that was so my first introduction into the DC universe was the Static Shock cartoon. Ooh. And I actually meant the TV show, not the. Yeah, I meant the live well, action I, TV show. Right. Then I saw the animated version, and now okay. I'm watching the the live action one, and okay, I love okay. them all. I have one issue. Well, two. Sometimes they write really, they write themselves into like situations that are no. Actually, it's the same issue. I'm just seeing it on two different scales. One scale I'm seeing it as far as like villains, and the other scale I'm seeing it as far as like episodes, like. When a certain character was in jail, I was like, oh, he's screwed. Because this is not something that, to me, is, like, easily dealt with, especially because he went to jail as himself, mm -hmm. not, like, as an alter ego or something. So we better see some, like, response to the fact that he's not in jail anymore. It, it, I don't, it shouldn't just be like, oh, okay, he's out, you know? But, like, the villain from last season um, and the villain from season one, I feel like the solutions were very easy. Like, like, let's use Buffy, for example, right? 
she doesn't spend the whole season leading up to one, the first battle with the villain, and then somehow in that battle defeating the villain. She literally battles the villain the first episode, loses horribly, and every time she gets a little bit better until finally she does. You know what I'm saying? So, but to me, it's like they do all of this like chess playing, and then when the villain and the hero finally fight, the hero wins. You know? Yeah. All right. Um, Durye, go to yes. character sheet. Okay. All right. Wait. Character sheet. All right. Okay. You're on your character sheet, and now there's a big, big, like, red circle on it right at the top. You see what I'm looking at? Yes. Okay, so you're going to right-click on that circle. And okay. you're going to, it's going to open up a little window. And you're going to go to the bottom where it says inspect. And when you click that, it's going to open up oh my a God. thing on the side of your screen. Don't just, just relax for a second. <laughs> relax. We got you. It's going to be okay. All right. Oh All right. So God. then there's, there's a really long string of letters in blue that are underlined. And at the beginning, it says shadow run black and metallic logo. Okay. So right click on the text that has the underline. Okay. It's going to give you a drop down, and in there it's going to have one that says delete element. Mm hmm. Click that. Okay. Now, in the upper right uh, is a little X, so you can close that nonsense out and okay. get rid of it. So <laughs> now. You will have to do this every time you open your character sheet again from being closed completely. So not like being set aside or minimized, so, but if you close it. So do I need to, um, do, do I, does that have to not be there for me to use my character sheet? No. So yeah, because, so you see here the tabs where it says core, arms, augs, gear, magic, etc. Yeah. You can't access those. So you can't like move around your character sheet to like get your spells or okay. your, you see what I'm saying? So yep. if uh, so, as long as you as long as you don't close the sheet, you don't have to do that again. But I mean, that's the process. You just right click on the thing, inspect, right click on the thing, delete element, and it okay. will bring you back to this. Um, cool. Okay, everybody, we figured it out, or at least figured out a workaround for now. I really, I figured you, uh, it out. Yeah, you figured it out. Good job. I figured it out. Um. We reached out to Emerald Grid to see maybe if, uh, because obviously what happened is that they, uh, because they're not supporting it anymore, um, but they're just going to kind of let it ride. They, what they did was they took down the Shadowrun logo from their, from their account's assets is what it looks like. And so when the character sheet came up, it's looking for that asset, doesn't exist. So it's giving us the default doesn't exist, uh, which is a gi giant image of like this picture doesn't exist, uh, which is pushing the header stuff down behind our boxes so hopefully we can uh hopefully they'll they'll be able to maybe figure out just a way to put uh, maybe put that back in for us but um if not uh like i said at least there's this workaround so okay let's Get my head back into it. So Nico was sleeping for an hour while you guys were going to do a flyover with the drone. And, and I'm going to do Matrix. Do some Matrix and Matronanigans. Matronanigans. I like it. Matronanigans. All right. <laughs> I'm just going to be watching. So. Are you flying the drone then while you're also matrix nanaginning? Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, Gertrude is better than I am. Yeah. She is. Yeah, I can do that. We'll make sure the doors are locked so uh, nobody bothers Nico while he's napping. And nobody else is going to be uh, aware. Right. Okie doke. All right, so yeah, um, as you're as you're kind of 
lifting off with the drone. I'm not going to require any rolls unless something's happening because it's just a routine, you know, fly over, look at stuff, uh, see what you could see. Um, except for the perception tests themselves. So since you're not jumped in, uh, what you are going to need to roll is electronic warfare plus intuition, and the limit is your sensor package, which is three. All right, I do not have electronic warfare. Uh huh. It's based off intuition, I believe. Yep, intuition minus one. Good at flying it, not yep. as good at looking through its things. All right. So yeah, buzzing over, you see there's there's some trees. Uh, it looks like it's, you know, that, the, that uh, so this picture is off of Google Maps, obviously, so like the trees are nice and green um, on, in, in the, the post containment zone future. They are not green, they are brown and sickly. Um, they're still there. Um, there's the building. You kind of maybe see some movement around the front of the building, but you can't make out what it is without getting closer. Um, the drone does. It is a, a roto drone, so it does make this buzzing sound as it passes over. Um, and if you have it high enough, uh, that's fine. But if you get too low, you know, people start to look up. And in and, and places like this, they start just shooting because that's a good time. Um, so you don't, yeah, so you don't see much else other than maybe a little movement in the front of the house. Are there uh, bikes or anything parked out in front of the house? Uh, definitely looks like there might be one or two. Uh, there is, there's some sort of structure uh, to the west of the house. It looks like it might be a, uh, just like a, a carport or a, just like a cover that, that you would be able to park underneath to just keep the weather off your vehicle. Um, so there may be more under there. Um, and that's just, you know, uh, something that you just kind of think of because you like cars and you don't like when the weather beats on your cars. So that's what you would do is put it under something. Right on. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, so there's that, uh, as you're kind of looking through the matrix, there is a, a definite noise rating, just kind of an ambient noise rating of about three right around here. Um, so the, there's definitely not a lot of signals coming from that section. Um, you don't really catch, uh, there, there, there's a couple of icons, um, that you can try to look at. But um, but it's just re yeah really not a lot going on matrix wise. Okay, uh, well, um, I have a look at the icons. Maybe they can tell me something. So matrix perception minus um, you said a noise of three. I have a device rating of two, so it cuts down two noises. Or uh, no, I, I get one data jack. That's so that's. Oh, that's one noise mm -hmm. cancellation. And uh, just make this simple and use single scrub. Okay. Uh, so you only have the one noise left over, and that's just for distance. So it's three ambient and then the one for distance. Okay. Um, so just one noise left. Yeah, so uh, definitely, there's a couple of there's a couple of icons there that you see that are that are very clear. One of them appears to be a trid, um, which is on. Uh, they're watching something on it. Um, without stooping in, you can't really see what, but it's probably not super important. And then the other icon is a com link. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like a very beefy one. <laughs> okay. Can I can I uh, use my comlinks knowledge skill to try identify it from what I see from the outside? 
Um, no, you need. Uh, I would. I would need you to either give it another perception test, matrix perception test, um, or or try to hack it. Okay. Okay. Uh, anything else that I can see uh, while I'm there? On the matrix side, no. Um, definitely seems really dark. Okay, Etienne is gonna like send messages to well, mostly Gertrude right now because the other guy is sleeping. Uh, so he's gonna go we're like, well, strangely enough, there's not much active there. Just uh, trade in one com link. I can have a look in there. And he sends a shrug at Maticum. But this is where we followed them to, right? Or where we thought they were going to be? Yeah. Well, that's where we thought, like, that's what the bikes they had back there led us to from as far as their GPS use. Okay. I I can't really get any closer with the drone without potentially arousing some suspicion to get a closer look. So if you think you can jump around in there with computer things and not get caught. I mean, it's it's kind of a meh com link, so I, I should be able to to uh, to get in without being noticed. So he's going to start switching stuff around on his deck and get ready to act on the fly that, uh, that little com link. All right, so yeah, you reach out, you uh, start tapping in a little bit of code, and go ahead and make that roll. Yeah, I'm just gonna moment to switch programs and stuff around. There you go. Oh, uh, and I'm gonna request the help from my agent. Don't uh, forget, uh, my dear Laura. I don't think I can take all of those, but... <laughs> yeah, the agent is like, this but, is easy. This is easy. The, the, the two, like, uh, graffiti-looking anarchists on the Matrix go and stick some propaganda posters on the on the icon on the of the of the com link as I try to do that. All right, so you have definitely placed a mark on that com link. Okay. Uh I'm going to try and start searching in there for any clue or information as to who it belongs to and what's connected to it and stuff. So you want me to do a matrix search? Or... Uh, matrix perception or a matrix search. Either one of them works for, for this instance. Can I use some help? Okay, so um, that was just my agent. Uh, my oh, that's just your agent. Sorry, uh, that's right. It just says the D six. Yep. All right. So limit is four. So you have four, uh, and I'm going to give you. I mean, four four things that you can look look for on this thing. Okay. Um, what is it connected to? Any other icons or? Uh... It does not have a. It does not have a pan. It does not have, it does a not pan. have an associated pan. It is a standalone comlink. Okay, what's its device rating? One. Oh, okay. Very bad comlink. Uh, and what about its owner? What can I find out about that guy? Um, looking for the owner. It. it it only takes you a little bit longer than it might would normally, just because you maybe weren't expecting this, but um, it's actually still factory. So the owner has not 
Okay. Whoever so has it has not like taken ownership of it. It's just a burner. All right. Well, uh, yeah. If they have, uh... oh, um, and I guess I could try and um, do a little bit like last time. I act into a comedy and see if I can listen in to what's being talked about around it. So I think that would require a second mark, though. Yes, which uh, is just not hard at all. Uh, so you grab that second mark real quick. And then go ahead and try to do a, um, what did we use last time, Snoop? I think so, which is hacking plus, which is just hacking check, if I remember correctly. I had the cheat sheet open, and now I lost it. Okay, Snoop, Electronic Warfare, plus Intuition, so Sleaze Action against Logic plus Firewall. Uh, enroll the help of my uh, agent. All right, so listening to kind of like trying to ping out what's what's going on it's uh obviously it's rating one the the mic's just really not that great but you are able to kind of tap in you can hear this sort of like from that's just kind of steady droning uh it sounds distant um there is another sound um that you can hear intermittently. It sounds like some kind of scraping and a and then it just stops. And then every once in a while, it kind of happens again. Um, other than that, you're not really getting a lot of other noises. Doesn't look like anyone's around it. No one's talking. Um, Doesn't seem to be anyone in there, so I don't. The, something that sounds like it. chicken, I don't. I'm not. Sh I'm, I'm not sure. Is is this an area known for livestock? I mean, I don't know the 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 place very well, but I'm gonna say probably not. This is just my own perception of it but uh yeah that's, that's pretty much what i can get burner coming uh, i can keep looking in and see if it received or made any call recently but that'd take me a little bit more time well they do have a backyard or a front yard or a side yard whatever kind of yard that is a yard. A yard. Uh, I mean, yeah, but there's nothing there and no one, it seems, that's except a trid that's playing in the background. But not from what I can see. Well, see, hear and see on the matrix, that is. Any way that there's like a basement or anything to this? I mean, it's really close to the water, so it is really close to the water. So it's um, it's it's usually not a thing, but probably not, uh, as far as you can tell. I guess when the, the kid wakes up, we're gonna go and have a look closer. I mean, there's not much I can do on my side.
Yeah, that that's probably. I mean, unless we get out and and look in those windows, and I'm not, I'm not stealthy. Uh, not great at that either, but I can at least try. Yeah. Uh, try and get in. Try and get in close and just kind of see what's uh what's going on. Yeah, and we're probably gonna wait for uh unless uh, we we're gonna case the joint, see if there's movement, and wait for our buddy here to uh to to wake up from his nap. All right. So with that, how long did you want to nap for? An hour or two hours or seven hours or how many hours? You're you're muted yourself. That was just a test. How many hours would it take for me not to have drain? So that is not a question with a hard answer before you rest because you're going to roll some dice. And every time you, uh, it's, it's body plus willpower every hour. So you get, uh, roll body willpower every hour. And then maybe on your first roll, you would get all hits and you would be all healed up. Or maybe after 10 rolls, you still didn't get any hits and you're still like that. I mean, I think nice, three, right? I think I'm gonna ask Jen just because this is also a team thing. Because I mean, how long would y'all sit in the car and wait? I th I think three hours is plenty, though. I mean, if it looks like you're not waking up, then that was um, the nap was to sort of put off the use of the stem patch because that's sort of a temporary fix and it doesn't last very long. Mm -hmm. So. If you want to do three hours, we can fill three hours of surveillance. Uh, I'd probably want to move the van to different locations so that we're not looking like we're casing the joint. Just looking at how much damage I took, I think I think three hours would be plenty. I might even need, I mean, yeah, I think three hours would be plenty. So I don't need more than three hours for sure. So the question is like, do we have a good alternative for sleeping three hours and what y'all would do in the meantime. Just more recon. I mean, we'll make it work if you want to. Yeah, I mean, hours. if they have three hours, so they've, uh, yeah, uh, sorry, Jen. Um, if, you know, they've been there about maybe half an hour at this point, you know, getting what little they can. They're talking about maybe Etienne going and taking a walk around. Uh, if, like, the the drone just hovers way up high in the sky for a couple of hours. Who knows? You might see people come in and out. Um, so there's there's definitely a potential to gain more information just by by out. Um, okay. Well, yeah, I, I'll definitely. That that's my answer. Three three hours. Okay. So we'll go ahead and give you the roll for hour one. So roll body plus willpower. <laughs> do it three times uh no i'm gonna we're gonna go through as we do it so that was that was one so nico gets one stun back all right boom done it's crazy uh Can't all right so that's the end so we decided thomas that uh it, that nico said he was going to take a three hour nap so the timer is ticking down we figure it's been about 30 minutes or so so far so what uh uh, until you guys say, hey, so at this point, we're just going to wait until Nico wake up, wakes up. Uh, tell me what, what it is you want to do. Uh, well, on the side, I think it's kind of going to try and, uh, as I said earlier, do uh, see if there's has been any call to or from that device. I guess, I assume not, if it's still factory yeah, it's 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 pretty much it's factory settings for the most part. Um, you don't notice that there's been any calls in or out. There's like it doesn't have a call log. That's um, it, like easily you can like access the call log, and that call log doesn't seem to have anything in it. Uh, okay. 
Well, if there's an, nothing else in there, I don't know. Uh, well, he's going to do some research on the Matrix in general about this particular location. If he can find, like, anything about that address. Like, oh, no, that, that house has been condemned six years ago. With Many things are like that, but, uh, you know. All right. I apparently got signed out of roll 20, so I'm going to <laughs> log back in. Man. We're, this we're is doing this is where tonight. I want to speak to the manager. Uh, it's a good time, you know. What's a good time? Speaking to the manager? No, this. It's a good time. Uh Oh, because I have superhero talk for days. Yeah, we <laughs> I gotta know. You have, you have a you have a whole you have a whole show that you dedicate to that kind of thing. We uh, actually you know? don't do superheroes all the time. Like I said, that kind of thing. I didn't say superheroes. To your, to your just you know, geeking out kind of things. I feel like is is that shade somewhere? No, it wasn't shade at all. Okay, that sounded like a promo to me. Oh, that was... <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm saying because like oh. this is also the kind we we talk about stuff like this on the show. <gasps> Puppy. <laughs> oh, my... Puppy. That's our little Kip. He likes the attention, especially when I'm streaming or doing something at my computer. Oh yeah, that's when I love it. That's when yeah. mine love to bark. <laughs> I literally have to turn into um the witch from Hansel and Gretel. When it's stream time, and lock them in cages and put um, treats in there. It's the only way they won't bark. That's fair. A full stomach, even dogs get the itis. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, the if you want to go ahead and try and do a, a matrix search, uh, just kind of looking up various information that you that you can in the area, you certainly can. You can do that for as long as you like. Um, well, I think uh, he's gonna do that for a little while while we wait for a uh, for our guy to wake up, or if uh, if gets interrupted by new information from Gertrude, if she's looking around with the drone or something. Yeah, I was gonna expand my perimeter of looking to see um, if there's any sort of unusual activity in the surrounding houses. Like maybe this is like a decoy house or, you know, of what I can see from my from my vantage point without getting too close. OK, yeah, sure thing. Um, dun, dun, dun. All right, so you're going to be doing that for a little while. So uh, flying over just with uh, with the drone itself and, and just scoping out the rest of the neighborhood. Uh, make uh, make that intuition minus one. Mm -hmm. Okay, not bad. So, uh, what you do see as you as you start flying over kind of the rest of the neighborhood is that it's it's. It's very much like a barrens, right? There's there are people that are that kind of are moving around uh, every once in a while. It's not crowded, it's not busy, but definitely there there are people that live here. It is it is a community, uh, a lot of squatters, etc. Um, probably all of them sort of under the yoke of of the swamp things. Um, probably a lot of their families are are just kind of scattered throughout this area. But uh, you don't, other than that, you don't necessarily get a sense that there is um, anything deceptive about the area. Um, it's kind of a, what you see is what you get. Um, if uh, every once in a while you feel like someone kind of hears the drone and kind of looks up, uh, but then, you know, they scan the skies a little bit and then they just kind of shrug and go about their way. Okay. Thank you. Yes. All right. Um, 
say after you spend about an hour or so doing that, Etienne is, you know, it's so Calumet Harbor is, it's it's basically just kind of there. There's there's the Calumet River and a lot of like shipping kind of would go into the first part of the river and they could unload there at Calumet Harbor. Um, and then some boats would go, you know, could go actually further in to deliver goods. But um, the area itself, there, there's, you know, it, it just, it was, it was housing in suburbs near industrialized areas. And after the, after the CZ, nothing really, you know, nothing really came up or came out of there. The harbor itself was closed uh, and the, there's reports of like the gang that came up. You find a, a couple of notes about the foul one who is the, the supposed gang's leader um, and that they tend to frown on outsiders and, you know, it's, they're, they're not super technically savvy. They don't have a lot of like gear equipment. Mostly they live in a swamp and they don't have to worry about people trying to roll up on their turf because it's a swamp. But it's their swamp, so yeah. Okay, well, uh, that's about all we can get from that. I think the next step would be to maybe go and have a look there. He straighten the jacket from the swamp thing he has. What do you think, Gertrude? Uh, it doesn't look like a decoy house or anything like that um, where, you know, where someone might be watching the house from across the street. No one looks like they're avoiding it necessarily. There's not a whole lot of foot traffic. So it might just be a chicken in there watching TV. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, well, I guess if it's that's what it is. I'll... I mean, I guess chickens get lonely. I don't know. Yeah, the, but the lonely. point is that that how does that correlate with the things we're looking for? So, right. So if they possibly came and dropped it off and then went to do other gang stuff, maybe. Or we missed it, and they're already at the location where they're selling it. Or maybe they have a, a contact where they're like, hey, we stole this thing. What do we do now? Okay, well... No, uh, I'm out. Let's go. I'm going to go and have a look. And at least we'll know if we missed them and we're just running in circle in hours for no reason. And start searching somewhere else. He's gonna try and hide his uh, AK-97 and his jacket and uh, walk okay. towards the. Yeah, that that makes sense. You're just trying to, you know, keep it as low key as possible, um, the best you can. Mm -hmm. At about this time, it is starting to get a little darker. It's not nighttime, like full on nighttime, but uh, it, it's 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 definitely dusk, um, and as you're just walking down the street, go ahead and just, you know, give me that um, sneaking or stealth test. Uh, it's not that you're hiding, but it is, you know, you're just trying to be uh, unobtrusive. Okay. For for some reason, when I built that guy, I forgot to give him stealth, I believe, which is incredibly dumb. So I could do agility minus one, which is five, but I could also do use my two points in etiquette and three in charisma to have five and look like I belong there as a ganger with the coat. And... Yeah, since you're not like trying to actually hide, you can you can do it that way as well. I, th I think that's more appropriate for uh, right now. Yep. I like it. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. So so yeah, you're 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 kind of just walking up and and I mean, there's not really anyone to see you right now, so you're just hoping, you know, if there's any eyes looking out windows or between the slats, you know, of, of boards covering windows. But uh, no one seems to challenge you or call out to you. And as you are getting close to the building, you, this is, so this is the kind of scene that we're looking at over here. 
um just this sort of you know there's uh there's houses there's some some of these uh mobile houses and uh, a lot of stuff just laying wherever it was that they last used it um or or didn't use it and just set it down somewhere or um okay I'll make my make, way through that and yeah. Go yeah, ahead. make a perception test as you're as you're kind of getting closer to it. All right. So yeah, definitely uh, there is a so there's a couple of bikes just kind of parked out in front. Uh underneath they there's a metal cover like a like like a covered bike rack for all intents and purposes that has uh there's a few more bikes under there. There's like three more bikes there. Um and you also see kind of in front of the house sitting a a, a very large form, uh probably a troll. You think it's a troll? Uh, just kind of sitting in a chair in front of the house. Um, he's kind of noticed you. You're not close enough to where you know it's it's you, you're you're ready to like yell out hi or whatever. Um, but but you feel like he he probably if he's looking in your direction he's probably seen you. Um, what that means, you know, maybe there's an expectation that you're coming over there now, or maybe you know, swamp things just happen to walk around the neighborhood all the time, and you got your own thing going on. Hard to say. Okay, well, he's slowing down his walk just a little bit to take the time to communicate with the others through Matrix. He's like, okay, there's someone that we hadn't noticed before that's right there, sitting underneath the thing, which is probably why we haven't seen it. I'm not sure if he's armed. Uh, well, I mean, a lookout makes sense. Yeah. If he was there with no matrix signal coming off him, I uh I assume that there might be other people in there in a similar situation. See a total of I think five bikes. Um Danny, how many did we see leave the um the museum? The doc said that maybe one or two might have left, but that um, but when you guys got there, none had left. A couple of tried to, but then they, you know, met with untimely ends. Right. Okay. So yeah, it might just be that they don't have comms and or they don't have them turned on. I guess that would be another thing, right? It's possible that they may want to lay low after what it, what just happened, but uh can you yeah. get back over here? We may need to to see how Nico's doing. I don't right. like you being over there by yourself. Okay, I can I can probably circle around. <clears throat> just keep walking and come back from another angle so he doesn't see me go back to the van. Yeah, that's um. You can definitely give that a go. Um, Want me to roll again for it to get to look like I'm? No. Okay. Um. Yeah, you kind of turn the corner. Uh, he doesn't seem to move. You uh, you can just kind of continue on your way. Okay. All right. So, well, that's what I got from my walk around. <laughs> I decided not to get too close, so I think it's, uh, well, there seems to be at least someone there. If we, uh, we go there, we might be able to get answers, but yeah, I shouldn't go alone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, someone needs to feed the chicken, right? Yeah. I'm invested in this chicken now. It's... I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna go save the chicken and get our thing back, but we'll come back with a chicken friend. Which is probably something else that's much more horrible than that. Oh, probably. I mean, chickens are pretty mean, though. 
They well, can be. Sure. They can be. All right. Um, well, with that, uh, go ahead for Nico. Make another body plus willpower. All right, in hour two, you getting some good rest there. Um, sun goes down. Any spirits that are not bound are uh, released into the other. Oh, damn it. And uh, uh, uh. and the team is uh, the team is just waiting patiently for you to wake up at this point, or well, at that point, I think. Yes, yeah, and be like, uh, I mean, if we don't want to lose what we may or may not have there or wherever it is now, we might want to start moving in. <clears throat> I think we're, uh, don't think we can afford much more time. Yeah, um, could we like wake him up and see how he's feeling? Is that, is that a rude thing? You can wake him up and see how he's feeling. Uh, that's definitely a thing you can do. No, nah, it's not rude. And it was like, hey, buddy. It kicks him. <laughs> no, it's like softly shake his shoulder. Hey. <laughs> Shit, the chicken got him. Oh, no. <laughs> chicken was in the <sighs> van the whole time. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> So I just shake me? Yeah, yeah, I just um Oh whew. just did. Good. Probably good. gonna need to uh at least do something. I don't know what, but we need to do something soon because I Oh, I was asleep for a long time. A good two hours, so Well thanks for waking me up. I was having this horrible dream. I was being chased by this chicken. Are you scared okay. of chickens? No, no. Okay. Just, this one was like really large and it was chasing me. So I'm pretty sure it was trying to eat me. All right. Other than the, the disturbing dreams about chickens, uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> you, are you feeling up to this? I mean, yeah, I feel, I feel, um, I feel energized. And, you know, right. if I see a chicken right now, I'd probably kill it. So. Okay, well, all right. That uh, may or may not come up. That may or may not come up. Uh, from what we gathered, there's not there. There's someone at the front door, but there's not much tech involved. So, let's see if they have guns, it's vintage stuff, or they turned everything off in the hope of being quiet. But. Uh, Right, but remember what we learned about this, this gang is supposed to have like racks of people though, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean I think that maybe that's a chapter thing or they're I don't know, man. So what are we doing? What's the what's the plan? Uh I was thinking we uh we show up there and we it's not like we can very much have a discussion with these people. They stole our shit. And they're probably not gonna willingly give it back. Gangers. Uh I don't know much about these particular guys other than their swan people and echo terrorist guy. I mean, I, I'm personally gonna switch to stick and shock. I don't think I just want to get our stuff back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cast... Um, what's that spell that I cast that makes me fast? Increase reflexes. I, I think the spell is called Increase Reflexes. Uh, I mean... What? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is. I don't, I don't know, man. You're the magic dude around here. I didn't realize I was speaking out loud. My bad. <laughs> I was just, I was, I'm sorry. I'm awake. I'm awake. All right, all right. Okay, so, 
Um, is this the one that I'm not supposed to cast below seven? Uh, no, this is the one That's where if you, have, if you have edge, you can use it to make sure that you get all the hits, but you also want to make sure you have combat sense. You have, um, you have a f sustaining focus for the combat sense, and then you can use your um, focus concentration for the increased reflexes. If you okay, so reflexes. I want to do all of that. Okay, so you're going to cast increased reflexes at one, and you're going to use a point of edge. You only have one point of edge left. You're going to use that point of edge to cast it. Okay. So just put force one, but uh, pre-edge. So turn on your edge ticker. Oops. Do I need to edge? Did I just, didn't I just get it, though? What? I just no, got it, right? that, the edge, No, the edge is going to add your edge, and then it's going to re-roll your sixes. Okay, so I'm going to do it again, I guess. Yep, click it on. Okay, increase reflexes. One, boom. Oh, helly, hello. Okay, that's a Now huge click difference. that six on a die just to see if you have any drain. Jesus. So that was <laughs> 10 hits. I didn't even hit the six on a die. Oh, Do I need God. to? No, that's, uh, you did, no, you, you, you did it, drain, base four. Uh, oh, that's uh, excited uh, die. Not yeah, that. yeah, that one, yeah, that one. Right, right, right. So, gotcha. yes, your initiative is insane right now. That's great. Uh, <laughs> hey, guys, I slept, and I'm ready to fight. Yeah. All right, I'm going to ca cast a new spell, new spell. Oh, uh, all right, so you don't have any edge left. So what you're going to want to do on this next spell is cast it. Uh, again, it's only going to be, I think, force two because you're uh, sustaining focus. No, force four. Force four. Cast it at force four. Combat sense. Force four. Here we go. Boom. Did Three. the kid do a big bar of Nova Coke while we weren't looking? What happened? Yeah, I don't know. So that adds three to your defense. Uh, you beat the drain, so you are feeling good. Um, and everything you're seeing is what Nico's doing, so yeah, he must be a morning person. It's nighttime, it is nighttime. He's, he's a nocturna, <laughs> that's what this is. Uh, it's it's kind of it is kind of what that is. Um, so yeah, those are the spells you've cast. What, uh, anything else you, you, you're trying to do? I want to summon a spirit, but the last time I tried, it did not go well. Um, wasn't that how I got so low on 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 uh, stuff? Yeah, I think you tried to like summon one that was like just super huge, like a ten. <laughs> I, think a a I think it was an eight. Well, I think it was an eight. I think it was a ten. I think it, like you went above and beyond. I think it was it was like you were just gonna do it. Dang, um, I, I wish I could bet money. Because I bet I would bet money right now that it was an eight. Uh, maybe. I have Jean Grey memory, so, and that's that's tested and proven. All right, I went to this uh, doctor. He was bald and he was in a wheelchair, and he told me that. So. Uh huh. All right. Um, I guess I don't. What? Uh, hey guys, what it? What it? What it? So you think there's one person that in a chair and that's it? No, there's probably more people in there. Uh, I'm one. thinking if All we right, can so. uh, if we can taking down quickly. That's a troll, so it's not going to be easy. We can maybe like. Let me do some magic recon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you can, great. Just wah, 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 wah. That's what my eyes went all. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm all hopped uh, up on, on initiative right now. So yes, sorry. you are. You're, you're right. Uh, so, yeah, you, you zip out uh, and take a look around. Everything here feels a little bit sickly. Um, it gives you this queasy feeling. So, like that, like that other place? Hmm? Like the place near the bomb site? Yeah, uh, but not the same feeling. So um, everything is kind of reduced by two. Um, Damn. Yeah, that, that, that is stuff that happens. So everything um, I just did is reduced by two? No, no, well, not, not necessarily. Um, you still have the 5d6 on your, on your roll because you edged that one. So it doesn't matter what, the, what, what you did with it, right? Um, which is not 100% 
correct, but it's what we're going with. And then the combat sense, though, that reduced by by two down two from force four to force two, which is fine because it just you you only got three anyway, so you're only losing the one. So you're you're good. Um, and right. you can see, you can definitely see directly ahead where where you're looking towards the house. Uh, you know, troll aura. Um, it's it's colorful. It's bright. It's in the dark, but you know, you see him. Uh, it's the only aura you see though at the house. But I can't see in the house because I have to nope. go to the house to see it. Yeah, All right, so the go in the house. I'm gonna go up to the house and peek my my only this part of my face in, so it would be like like that much. Okay, so what part of the house? Like side of the house, front of the house, door? Um, back. Where's the picture? I can't. I don't see the picture anymore. Okay, so I will. I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Um, I grew up in a neighborhood like this. Side note. Uh, not grew up. It was like until seventh, second grade. Anyway, um, I want to like. I guess yeah, the front. I'm astral, so, and it's a small house. So if they can see, if they can see me anywhere, I put my face in. Okie dokie. But I want to. I want to do it like. Super stealthy. So I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Now you tell me. What were you saying? Nothing. I didn't know what you said. Okay. All right. So you are going to try to poke your head in and take a look. <laughs> All right. As you look in, what you do notice is that there is a aura. Now, oh. that big around, um, just chilling, sort of on the floor, in front of uh, in front of the doorway there. So this aura that I can see is, I can't tell what it is. Because I could tell the other thing was a, was a troll though, right? Big shape, troll shape. You expected it to be a troll. You saw, you, you know, general troll, troll shape. So uh, I so this it. right here, you don't, like, you don't know what you're expecting to see. And it's not like meeting any of expectations that you might have. It's just kind of a round. If it was a spirit, I would know that, right? Well. You'd have to make a, a sensing, uh, test. sensing test. Okay. And I'm going to sense you, Mr. Thing on the floor. Or reading specifically, right? Yeah, because that is what you're doing, reading Aura. Boom. Okay. It is not a spirit. 100% not a spirit. It is. Some sort of animal. Oh, um, it is, it is like a puppy. Not like a puppy, in that it is some sort of magical animal. Oh, magical animal. It has some sort Crap. of magical ability. Uh, it's, it's it's magic rating is a little bit less than yours. It's uh, I don't trust that shit anymore. <laughs> um, and uh, it's it seems. Not like in the in the greatest of health. It doesn't seem sickly or diseased, but it doesn't look like you know it's it's well taken care of. I mean, He's assuming old. it's a pet somehow. Um, it's not it's not old. It's uh, but it's not you know it's not a young whatever it is. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just kind of laying down there. Uh, and and obviously this is like a little foyer, so there's it's must be guarding the front door. You think? Mm -hmm. um, other than that, uh, you don't see but anything it is else magical. Here. Okay, since it's magical, I'm just gonna kind of like un un un. I'm gonna remove my face, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to um check another part of the house because it's not a big house. All right, swinging through the rest of the house, we're just gonna speed this up because yes. nothing else that uh, is of interest. You see, uh, there are a few other people uh, in here. Um, you get a count of three. Nope, more than three. 
but maybe not too much more than three. Okay, Thomas, I see you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Inside, one outside, and two of the eight inside are trolls. Um, they're scattered throughout the house. Uh, this little, not, like, this little house? Are you talking about like this little trailer? I'm not, no, I was saying that's kind of like the scene, but the, the, it's, it's an actual house. Um, it's okay. it's uh, maybe like a double wide. Trailer. Yeah, like a, of that size. And so that's what you see inside. Uh, it's hard to make out what's going on. A couple of people are sitting down in a room. There's someone laying on a bed for sure. Uh, you think there's a kitchen someone's milling around in. Um, yeah, that's what you get. So as uh, as you get that, you zip back to your body, and we are going to take a 10-minute break and figure out what we're going to do about this when we get back. Hello, we are back. Um, when we left off, there was some reconnaissance going on. Der Nico had uh, successfully rested uh, and got rid of his headache and then cast some spells and then went to go check out what was going on inside, found a, um, a floof ball puppy, apparently, and, um, and eight individuals inside. And now they're going to, uh, you know, see if they can't find the canister in there and get out with it. Um, I definitely noticed you just called me Dernico and hooded up two names that already were pretty hood. So yes. congratulations. You're welcome, Dernico. Dernico. <laughs> it's not bad, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like it's like a hood upgrade. All right. Um, so uh, I am going to do some map maneuvering for everybody. Here we go. Well, while you do that, we can discuss a little bit of our plan. So, uh, Etienne's loaded his stick and shock, puts the AK in his back, and takes out the silence pistol. <laughs> like, okay, we take the guy at the entrance out as quickly and silently as possible. And then, uh, Nico, can you deal with the magical dog i don't know anything about that uh, where i'm from we we have bounties for magical creature because they took over the place so uh, first reaction would be to take care of it you know well, when i read all i can see is that it's magical. I didn't know what it was, what it could do. So I really don't know. It's not a very high magical rating. I don't want to kill the thing. Um, I don't have any spells to like subdue the thing. I could cloud it, but I feel like that could backfire. So let me see. What, what can I do? I can't. I guess I could. Dog? Huh? Do you think it's a dog? Do I think it's a dog? You don't yeah. think it's a dog, really, when it comes down to it. You, you think it's something. It's, 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 then what about the thing? What about the magical threats? What did, what did I get from that? Uh, not enough to really pin it down. Um, it's really? definitely it definitely some sort of paranormal creature. So it's not like if it's a dog, it's not a regular dog. It's a magic dog, for sure, right? So that kind but, of. Thing. But it's not so. But we did didn't we do two things? We did like an aura reading, and from the aura reading, I knew that it was a magical animal. But then I rolled magical threats. Right. Well, and you got... still haven't like necessarily seen one of these before, so it doesn't it doesn't. Okay. You can't like equate the two things yet. So could we bring snacks from the van to feed to this magic not dog? <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> I I I okay. guess. I, I mean I hope it eats not dog I mean, snacks. But... Before the dog, we need to deal with the troll that's in front of the door. That's just like I don't think that snacks are gonna work on him. Maybe, but I don't think I have the silver tongue to go with it. Um, here's the thing. So what we could do, I could do the same thing we did at the last place and cast Chaotic World. That'll give us a little leverage since um, Satchel's doing that thing and we're kind of down a man. So 
That's not, not a bad idea. That'll give us a little leverage and, you know, then see how it works on the dog. This way, we're not in direct sight and not directly to blame for it. And uh, uh, I mean, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. We can all, we're not in, what I'm saying is we try this, see how it works. If it works positively, we continue forward. If it doesn't, we're so we're out of harm's way enough to where we can regroup and try this again. And then maybe after, if, if it works, so. I'm just saying in theory, if it works, then what would be the next step? Uh, if it works, uh, I mean, we can start moving in, take care of the, the, the troll outside, get in, feed the dog, move forward and deal with people one by one. Or I mean, I like your idea about getting rid of the first dude. I guess if we, do you guys want to somehow... disguise ourselves don't think it's going to be needed we're not it's not like we're very well known in the neighborhood these and guys, these guys gonna... don't have cameras or like any sorts of sensors around that can identify us be after so are we planning on leave like if we're going to leave them alive like you saw what i mean i'm serious about this i can't we can't just be leaving witnesses everywhere I mean, because then we're going to have to always look over our shoulder. This is a huge gang that gangs are scared of on the south side of Chirac. Yeah, well, okay. So you think we should, like... Well, you guys kind of freaked out when I killed that troll. So, I mean, unless we're going to do that here, yeah, I think we should... Which we try not to kill people when we don't have to, because most of them are just people trying to live around here and just exist. Like they don't Got always it. deserve like a bullet and bullet and coming their way because they. Well, when it comes to gang territory, if if you encroach on another gang's territory, especially by taking something from them, and they don't retaliate. That's dangerous for that gang. So they have to, if, if we go in there, steal from them, and possibly we're going to, somebody's going to get at least punched, you know? They're not just going to be like, oh, you know, chalk that up to a loss. They're definitely going to look for us. Well, what do you think, Gertrude? Well... I have a couple of thoughts. Uh, the first one is that um, if we go around murdering a bunch of people, it's eventually going to get out that we're a bunch of murderers. So that's the other reason to try and keep the body count down as much as we can. Um, the other thought I had was um, maybe just ask. Like, ask what? So they took the, the cylinder, right? So they, if they know what's in it, then we're screwed. But if they don't know what's in it, and they're sent by somebody else to get it, then maybe we can buy it back. And Um, not have to murder a house full of people. Okay, so I'm going to cast a spell. I'm going to cast physical mask on myself. Okay. Yeah, um, not not of a good negotiator, but we can try. Just... Four six, four six is fine. Yeah, but if we um, okay, oh. he's good. That's okay. Just gonna make oh. sure that we're not losing oh. money on that. Fine. Here we go. All right. Didn't feel great, but you know, it didn't uh... feel great. All right. Okay, Gertrude. So then, Nico opens the door. He looks back at the team. Uh, all right, we're 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 gonna go and ask them. And if it- I'm gonna go, so that way our our identities are still safe. Uh, I mean, if he says no and turns like, I don't know what that stuff is, but you may get like 
attacked just for asking about it. You really? That's why y'all are gonna. Well, that's why Gertrude stays in the car, keeps it running. If I get attacked, if I get like really attacked, then you know we we all we you know throw them bows. But uh, hopefully, I'll be able to get back to the van at the very least. I'm all initiatives up right now, so I can run. Oh, okay, okay. We'll we'll stay nearby. Just uh, come 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 over here. And he then goes in his bag and he he, uh, he takes out the tiny little camera. He's like, let me just pin that to your coat so I can see what you're up to while you're there. I'll do it this time. I don't usually like to wear stuff like this. It makes me feel like a narc. But you know, whatever. I just I just. I'm just saying gang liaisons don't do cameras, but I, I got you, bro. Yeah, okay. And he pins it on. There. Okay. Um go. I have all that stuff ready. Heal, increase reflexes. Okay, physical mass. All right, I'm good. All right. So I close the van. And I don't walk straight to the house. I kind of walk away from the van for a minute. Do 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 it's a But it's night so right it's nighttime so I'm blending in anyway because you know because you Sorry. physically masked yourself to still look like a nocturna no okay <laughs> just a regular black dude all right we're ready for that one. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so, okay. So then, you know, up against the wall, you know, I kind of, all right. Now that I've made my way away from the van and back toward the house. Well, there's a guy right in the front. Like, so. Okay. Uh, so then let's rewind. Like, do you not see him? We're going to ignore the fact that I knocked. That didn't happen. And okay. I'll deny it if you say it did. Okay. So here, here comes, here comes Nico. Do, 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 do. And do you see the guy in front of you? Right there in the screen? Um, do I? Yes. Man, he's massive. He's bigger than you. Yeah, he's, he's bigger. Hey, what's up, bro? Um. Oh, what's going on? How's things? Things are things are things are well. How about things for you? You have to disguise the voice too. You can't just disguise how you look. You got to disguise the voice. Listen. Um, I look bored. Yeah, you look bored for hours. Why? Why are you sitting here? It's Kind of like the middle of the night in the cold. I mean, it's you know, it's only past dinner time, but uh, um, you know, she's supposed to call in a bit. Tell us where to take it. Tell us where to take it. What's it? Ah, uh, something she wanted us to get. You know, we had to roll up to the museum up north and um. Some of the guys didn't come back, but uh, we we got it. So it's um, wait. Yeah, we're just we're just waiting for her to call now and uh, tell us where to take it. Cause you mean the museum, the museum where that shit went down today? Can I curse? Can I curse? It must not curse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you didn't get the, you didn't get the call. Well, what were you doing today? <clears throat> Nico has this moment of like where everything slows because he's like, okay, play your cards right. Don't say anything stupid, Nico. He thinks you're one of them. Why does he think you're one of them? Then he remembers physical mask. Uh, I didn't get the call and that pisses me off. What call? Man. Probably check your comm then, but um, Do I don't think I've seen you around before. Then Nico says to himself, Fuck. <laughs> uh I have 
Haven't seen you around either. What's your name? <laughs> Danica. <laughs> Your Nico, huh? Yeah, well, uh, you need anything? Yes. There's been a, a change of plan. He kind of sits up a little bit. What? What do? You, what do you mean a ch change of plan? Well, um. We want to buy the thing from you. I'm going to ask you at this point. To go Can to I take your, back the last five sentences? <laughs> to go back to, to go to your skills. Okay. And use the impersonation skill because you are trying to impersonate a swamp thing. I don't have that. <laughs> you, do, do, you do. You do have it. You have impersonation. Under your active skills. I don't have it. Because it's alphabetical, right? Uh, no, because it's part of your acting group. Uh, oh, I'm not going to get this. Is there some, I'm just trying to win. Well, no, it adds to your charisma. So see, like it says charisma next to it. So that means it's going to add to your charisma for how many dice you roll. So it's not bad. Not but my, my rating is non-existent. Can I try Connie? Oh, I have impersonation. I lied. I have it. I see it. I see it. Under acting group. Yes. Okay. I see it. Whew. Can I pull from my actual fact that I have a degree in theater and put that in Nico too? Can I get extra that's, points? That's what you're doing right now. Is okay. Is that. So go ahead and just roll the dice. Oh, okay. Not horrible, but it's not amazing. All right. So, um, yeah. Let's see here. This is. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought it was. Buy it. What? What? What are you even talking about? I, I mean, you're not gonna buy it. I mean, she wants it. Are you gonna? There's no way we're not gonna just keep it and give it to her. Just waiting on her to call. That's a change in plan. Instead of calling, she sent me. Because we're having an issue with our comms, which is why I wasn't there to originally pick it up. Make a I look on your face. <laughs> I won't I won't like a look on your face. Are you are you oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you questioning the orders that I got? Because I'm not gonna go back there and get chewed out by this lady. Or worse, because you know how that temper is. Uh, make a con check. <sighs> you are trying to con this guy at this point. Okay. No, you're doing good. You're doing good. <laughs> all right, all right. We um, believe in you. <laughs> just stay right here. Um, he gets up and he turns to the door and he opens the door. <laughs> And he steps inside. As he opens the door, you hear um, and he kind of goes and then closes the door behind him. Uh, and then when he does that, I'd say Gertrude is he in? Yeah, we're we're here. We're here, buddy. We're here. You use your trolls. You can write messages. Holy shit! Holy do, shit. You got it. You're doing great. Keep it together. We're, we're right here. Right here. Engine is I'm running. Gonna, I I think I'm gonna piss myself. <laughs> You're gonna be okay, man. Is my it. Batman? Is my Batman voice working? 
Seems to be. Keep it yeah, up. But the one you had before was better. But I don't remember that one. It was, it was <laughs> wait. It was like this. Yeah, I don't. It, it I don't was remember. exactly. Okay. 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 All right. Uh, you know what, Tom? I do have the leadership skills. So uh, on this next role, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> So um, while I'm waiting for him to come back, should I lean against the house or just 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 chill? Just chill, yeah. He's probably gonna bring you someone who's hired a command chain. So get ready to bullshit them and keep referring to her and her temper. That's that that was good. I the think temper. I the lady in the temper. We don't know who she is. Stay vague about her because they all do. But mention her and yeah, go again about how oh, you don't want to go there because if you have to go there, then she's going to come here and it's not going to be good. Right. You got, right. You got that? I got yeah. all of that. You hear movement in the foyer. Uh, and here they come. Here they come. Then the door opens. Do door opens and. Uh, the same troll steps out. All right. Um, uh, and he kind of kicks back and closes the door as you hear that. Um, Please don't do that again. Go around, go around back. Uh, you'll see the sliding door. Um, don't want to have your walk through the front. Uh, Henrietta wouldn't like it. Henrietta? Well, tell Henrietta I said what's good. And then he just starts walking. All right. So you make your way to the back. Can we still see him when he goes around back? No. Uh, well, I can see through the camera on this jacket okay. you can see through the camera so you see where he's at yeah and you know where he's at but um unless you move around because he's going like around the back of the house hey guys um just slowly creep the car <laughs> don't, don't do it abruptly but just i like I, I, eye contact or something at all times because holy shit i'm scared this was such it felt like a such a better idea in the van We got the... <laughs> okay. We're, we're, we're not far. All right, so I'm I'm back here now. Should I just? All right. Should I lean against? You know, he told you to go in. Uh, so oh, as you arrive at the back door, uh, you see this guy kind of pulls the door open. <clears throat> hey, uh, Dernico, right? That's that was your name, Dernico. That is a goofy name. Anyway, come inside, man. Come on. Inside? Yeah, come inside. Come, step in, come, come on. Step inside. It's... Okay. <clears throat> it's so I, I, I walk in and I stand, like, at the door. Uh, close the door behind you. Come on. It's, we got a fire going. It's, it's, it's warm in here. Like, come on. Close the door. Yeah, just... Okay. Yeah. Then I turn it and I look out the van. <laughs> I look for the van and I don't see the van. And I says, all right. But I close it, but I don't close it all the way. Is it a sliding door? He said it's a sliding door, right? It's a sliding door. It's a sliding so door. So I slide it to like, you know how you do in the hood when you're ready to me, you got a bolt. So you slide it to right. Sure. Uh -huh. And then I, I put my back to the door. But my hand is like right there, ready for the, ready for the, uh, the drag. Right. So how how long you been in uh in uh how long you been in the the things, man? How long I been to what? Are you the things? Are you you the shaking things. me down right now, dude? Nah. How long you been well, in the things? I just nah. I just what do you mean shaking you down? I just I hadn't met you before. I was just wondering. How long have I been into things? In I just. You think I just started this? You really gonna give me this right now? I got things to do, okay? I got people to see. And I got a very angry, very angry boss waiting for me to do this errand. Why, you shaking me down? Why, tough. You actually met her? Do you want to meet her? Because she told me if I don't get her what she needs, she's coming down here herself. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, you know, you're right. You're right. So no, no, just keep because we have time for this. You know, she comes down and you know you get she just locks on you with them like icy blue eyes and you just know you done bragged up. You know what I mean. Anyway. You're doing good, kid. Ask him for the container. So I mean, are you gonna give me what I need to get or 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 should I just bounce and let her hand move his arm? Because that's 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 what juncture we are at right now. No, 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 no. She's I you know, we uh we gotta pack it up because um got jostled a little bit, so we just gotta, you know, we wanna make wait, sure. Wait, wait, you know, damaged it? Yo, you better be happy my calm is broke. You damaged it. You're going to send me back with it damaged, and you got time to sit here and question me. You need a caller? I, I got my calm. I got her number in it. Is that what you want to do? I, I'm just trying to, you know, make sure everything goes as smooth as possible. If she got to know ahead of time, like, it's better she knows, right? Because I don't want to come down here and, like, if you didn't want to come down here, it shouldn't have been jostled in the first place. All right. I, this energy, this energy, I got a stressful job. You get to sit in the, in the, in the house all day, garden, garden park packets. I got I have to deal with her front and center. Tell him to just pack it and give it to you and get the drag out of there. So can we, can you pack it and give it to me so I can get the drag out of here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Thank you. You ever seen her like take your chainsaw to somebody? I saw her do that once. It was a good time. Come on. He's walking back into the back, uh, back room here. And you did good, kid. Keep, uh, keep, keep the face going. Uh, I'll make sure he doesn't get any comes from anybody. You want to talk about chainsaws and shit? You got don't, it. It's fine. Don't engage. It's fine. Okay. So I follow them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, it's it's him now that there's another coming mention. Uh, he's gonna look over again, but he's gonna he had rebooted not to keep the over Overwatch score going up because it would be smart. If there's no other com link, he's gonna go back to the shitty one, hit it again, and make sure no comes come through. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's easy. You, there, there are no other com- anything that you can see on. So if he has a com link, it's off. Uh, for whatever reason. Okay. So um, even if he tries to call, okay. yeah, and I know that. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, Etienne will tell you. So as you get in here, though, I need you to go ahead and make a perception test for Nico. Why? Why am I actually nervous? <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> uh. Where is? All right. As you enter into this kitchen, uh, you see this troll. Uh, he's at the sink <laughs> doing something. Uh, you can't see what's on the other side of him because he's a troll. He's just huge. Um, and then you hear behind you a. <laughs> Like a creak in the wooden floor. So me being from the streets, rule number one, don't never let them see you sweat. So even though whatever's behind me has me freaked the fuck out, I'm not going to look. Rule number one is scary movies. Don't look. Because for some reason, they never kill you when you're not looking. Don't look. All right. Well, now I wish I pinned that camera up on his back <laughs> while he was not looking. As the first fella, he like looks at the troll and says, "Y'all set." The troll just without looking back at you, he's like, 
Mm hmm. I get him. <laughs> okay. As soon as, said, as soon as he says that, fuck this shit. Roll reaction plus intuition. Damn you, Danny. I knew you were going to do some oh, Plus three. You get to do a plus three, though. You get, reaction you get plus, to do a plus three. Reaction plus yeah. intuition plus three when it asks. It didn't ask me. Do, oh, do I had to do it at the beginning. Get the same plus three. Yeah. And you get one free success from uh, auto hit. So that I see. means, yeah, there, uh, three, three. Yeah, there you go. So you're. You are not going to be surprised. You were ex kind of expecting this. So you'll get your full uh, initiative when the time comes. Mm -hmm. That said, uh, let's. Uh, I'm going to start rolling for these these goons here. Do uh, they do, do all get plus six? Gertrude and I and Etienne get um, to roll initiative too. You do, but you also need to roll reaction plus intuition. Oh man, here we go. Lots of people. And and what, what's great about it is everyone out there, my magic can't kill anybody. So if if people are gonna die, it's gonna have to be the hard way. And because I'm basically a soft target, I doubt that's gonna happen. Oof. Let's hope I can go twice before everybody else goes. That would be you, awesome. You won't get to go twice, but you probably will get to go first. First things first, I don't like being surprised, but I'm from the streets. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> so I stay ready. Gang liaison. Select your token. Me. And roll initiative, uh, everybody. Uh, where are our tokens? Can we like do uh, an honor oh. system and just assume uh, that I get to go first? <laughs> nope. No, that is not how it works. Um, it uh, your tokens are boop and boop over here. Uh, in the far left corner, uh, in the vehicle, probably what fifty, maybe fifty meters away. So. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. I rolled three to deal with a surprise, so I think I'm okay. Yep, you're okay, and yeah, I, I'm I'm tracking it, so I'll go ahead and make the make whatever adjustments I need to make. Um, so this guy, and that should pop up my my timer, my timer tracker, tracker timer. Yep, there it goes. Cool, cool. Um, and then this guy. And a fella here. Boop. Bop. Bip. Bop it. Boot it. Twist it. Bat it. Bat it. Beam bomb. Pull it. Smack it. Am I the only one who did the bop it? Uh, well, uh, we didn't have that commercial because it doesn't make sense in French, but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> what does it sound like in French? I don't remember. We just, uh, well, actually, this, uh, we had very strict laws when it comes to uh, commercials regarding children's and toys and stuff in Canada and in Quebec, so I don't think there was an ad for that. Let me tell you something about America. Double entendres everywhere. Have you not noticed me tonight? That, yeah, no, I noticed that since I started learning English. <laughs> Listen, it's like, what is going on? Like the, it's like, literally, we're going we're gonna to talk about it. And if you don't want us to talk about it, we're definitely going to talk about it. We'll find a way. All right. So he says, "Get him!" And you get to go first because you have you prepared for this. You were ready. Chaotic world. <laughs> At a force eight. Consider that you're going to be in Damn it. spell. Damn it! 
I, I my finger slipped. I didn't I didn't roll the rice fours. I meant fours. I, I meant fours. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's already it's over. Wait wait wait. I have an auto hit. Can I use my auto hit for this? You yeah, already... you didn't use because you no. Well, he he got a four for his surprise test. Oh okay. okay. So he can use his auto hit here. So that's four. So that would be four on top of this three. Nope. It's the three plus one. It would be four. Oh okay. Mm, yeah. I'm take it. Ooh, I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Yeah, uh, that did not feel good at all. But chaotic world. So um, let's find out how this do. Three. Please don't let me die, guys. Of course not. Nope. We said we got you. Death is stressful. <laughs> okay. Um. Bum, bum, bum. You cast chaotic world. Is there anything else you would like to do, like move or? Oh, and then, then I want to move toward the door. Hell yeah. Okay. Toward the exit. Toward Los. Oh, can I, can I cast another spell? You can cast two spells, but that's reckless casting, and it means that you have a higher drain on each of the spells. Oh, okay. So, so no, you don't want to do gonna... that just now. There's this dude between me and the door. Since the spell's already active, um, can I say look over there and then move toward the door? You can. It's not really going to do much. Okay. Well, then can I kick him and then move toward the door? Or do I need to roll for that? No. You're just going to move toward the door. He's probably going to try to grab you as you move towards the door. But um, it's chaotic world, so he's going to not grab me, right? Uh, he might grab you. Yeah, well, he's going to try, and he's he's more likely to fail at it because of chaotic world. Right. Right. <clears throat> also, because right. I'm a street ninja. Well, that's that's for you to prove with your die roll. True. You're a street ninja named... Oh. Bye. Uh, so... What do you mean yeah, by? You're a street, street ninja. Dog. My dog came and said hi. Oh. And, and then when I went to pet her, <laughs> she, was, she darted away because really what she was play, keep away. Scared the hell out of me. Uh, <laughs> bye, Dernico. I was going to say... Uh, like, you're, no. a, you're a ninja named Dernico. Um, yeah, so here we go. Which guy is this? Okay. Bum, bum, Thank bum. God I took that nap. Here we go. Five, four, five. Yeah, so he like rah, tries to grab at you and absolutely does not. Um, yes! It looks like he's trying to like duck under something uh, as he was trying to grab at you. It was it was unfortunate for him. Uh, next up is... Oh. It's great I planned for this. I, what's crazy is I actually planned for this. In my head, at least. I didn't know how to do it. I did. I literally was oh, like, Oh, okay, well, okay. I just I, I told y'all. You don't communicate it, so. I did. I told y'all. I'll just get. I did. I say that if I cast Chaotic World. And yeah, okay. Everything. Yeah, you talked about that. Listen, that's my, that's my go-to right now. All right. This troll comes barging through, knocks between these two guys, and is going to try to do a thing. Oh, God. He got all that. That's a complex movement, isn't it? No, you, moving is just moving. Um, there, and there's no rules in this, like Dungeons and Dragons, where like it, there's rules about how you can move through stuff and things. Uh, so he kind of gets over here pretty easily. Is, yeah, oh, and he's gonna try to shoot you with his weapon. Um. Oh God. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Bang. Oh, he's going to hit you unless you uh, successfully defend. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your character sheet to the core and find that little shield button. That's your defense. 
Better beat a one or else you're getting shot. Come on. It's just a one. You can beat that. <clears throat> there you go. Well done. I'm not a gang liaison after this. I'm a G, okay? I don't know what that means, but whatever makes you happy, man. Being a G means you are a gangster. Oh, okay. Yeah. I say gangster. Like, like it's 1821. <laughs> Some guy comes walking out of here like, what's going on? <laughs> Wait, there's another person? There's a lot of people in here. Remember, you, you, you looked in here. There's eight people in here. Like, well, but I cast Chaotic World. Right. So there's a guy coming out going, what's going on? But like, isn't the way chaotic world works is that it's not on the person, it's on the area, right? Yeah, and right. he's, he's well, fucked on whoever's up too. in the area that you cast it, right? So since he walked into the area, he's now no, 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 no. It's wherever you first cast it, but you cast it at Force Eight, so the entire house is under it. Okay. So he's fucked up too, and he's wondering what the hell is going on. Yeah, okay. that's, yeah, he's he's confused. You know, you okay, confused right, him. Right, right. As long as right. as long as everybody's screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Thanks to everybody in the chat, by the way, for your nurses and your um, assistance. Yes. Okay, this guy is going to... What has he got? Same thing, because, you know, everybody's kind of all out of the way. So he's going to shoot at you with his Super Ruger Warhawk again. Bang! Three. So when you hold your, when you roll your defense this time, you have to do a minus one because every time after the first time that you are hit or shot at, it's a minus one because it's harder and harder the more bullets are coming at you. I have a nerfs though. Yeah. Do you have nerfs so you can add two to the roll? Okay, so I want to use that nerfs. Yeah. Goodness gracious. So what am I doing? The the shield. Minus two. defense, uh, shield, the shield, shield plus right, two, right. But plus two this time because you're using the nerfs. You feel the bullet kind of whinge past your shoulder as it like <sighs> just just clips the the edge of your jacket, um, happily not actually penetrating at all, and it doesn't <sighs> seem to be any sort of crazy electric bullets or anything silly like that. It just seems to be a normal sort of bullet. So lucky you. Let's also thank whoever gave me, I think it was Kinder Mage that gave me the nerfs, because if it wasn't for yeah. the nerfs, I definitely would have got hit with that bullet. So you're awesome. Thank you. Okay. You guys having bad dreams. Okay. This guy's wondering what's going on. Guy runs out. Hey, get back here, he says, as he pulls the trigger. Fucking shit! <laughs> oh. They, 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 they're not. They, they want you to kind of be dead, right? Kind of be uh, dead. Yeah, uh, it's man. I mean, I wouldn't take it personally, right? Like, I'm, I'm just mad at like the thing. Like, there's the Duryea half of me that was doing the thing that you do when you watch scary movies, and then there was the Nico half of me that's like, okay, let's go to this house with all these strangers. <laughs> And Duryea was definitely like, don't go in there. What you talking about? <laughs> yeah, so make a defense test at minus two. All right, I'm getting shot, everybody. Do I have anything else left? I don't know. Do I have any edges? Nope. I'm going to use a silver I, auto hit on this. Didn't he, he used the auto hit for his um, for the spell when he cast it. Mm. Oh, defense minus two. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, look at that. You are <gasps> ducking, weaving. You're like running under the things, like hey. hitting everywhere. But y'all are like seen out of bad boys. Um, In this small ass space. <laughs> yep. All right. Please, please, yes. please, please. All right. Here comes this. Where's this person at? Oh, no, Moss. Oh, my goodness. No, those Moss. Oh, that was that Crap. <laughs> the guy that tried to grab you before is going to, he's got a, what's that in his hand? Is that a hatchet? 
But I thought he had his turn already. No, no, no. He tried to do a thing where he tried to grab you, and that pushed his in uh, his initiative down. So it's a it, it's called a what we call an interrupt. Um, ooh, this is gonna be maybe sad. I don't know. We'll see. This is going to be at minus five on your defense. <laughs> minus, oh, you got to attack that many times? Well, that many times, plus this is a reach weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, Kinder Mage did send you another uh, silver, by the way. There he sent you two. Looks like two. Looks like two. So... Can I use them both then? Uh, yeah, if you yeah. use them both right now, the auto hits, then you will not get hit by this You're giant good. axe. So, so then yes. I'm going to use them both right now. Okay, so you do not get hit by the giant axe. Wait, thank you, that? Kinder Mage. Kinder Mage, you are my. You... I don't know if I, I know I can curse. I don't, I don't know if I can say that word, but I want you to know the word I'm saying is the word that I can say that other people can't say. But that's what you are for me right now. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Tom's like, oh, I know the word. Yeah, thank you. We all we all understand. Um, I got to show you a video, uh, Duryea, later. But uh, all right, so um, Kinder Mage, yeah, Kinder Mage saved Nico. Saved Nico uh, yes, pretty much. That was, um, yeah, that would have that would have been that would have been painful. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and 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 for some reason, me, I have an issue with axes in this stream. <laughs> you so. seem, you seem, yeah, uh, Etienne. Okay, Etienne is uh, is dashing out of the van and is gonna try and run towards the back of the the place because he knows where 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 he is and if he can avoid the big guy up front at least at first. He's well, I mean, you guys are like down the road and kind of in the front of the house, so that's the longest way around um, possible. And what is your speed? Uh, my sp uh, I have six agility. I know it's based off that, and I don't remember that complex mathematical uh, formula to calculate speed. So it's times four to say how far you can run. Uh, okay, and I said you guys were 50 squares away, so let me do a... Six, so that would be uh, 24? Uh, no, that. Oh, wait. So... Yeah, I think so. One, two, three. So you could get to where you actually are on the map before making a sprint test. Okay, well, I don't want to go... The problem is that I don't want to go through there because that's where I know the thing is right so so if if you i mean you just like this is where you can get and then when you have a chance to go again you could go up and around uh, i mean there's been gunshots at this point uh um, yeah no he has the he has the, the 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 ak out and he's ready to uh well yeah yeah, so the guy at the door, uh, you imagine his next move is probably something like take whatever weapon he has in through the foyer to join in the, the raffle stomp of Nico in the back. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, like... Okay, yeah, I'm going to start running towards that, and I, I guess maybe somewhere around there. Well, no, 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 no. Where you are is the end of your movement from where you were in the truck, because you were 50 oh, meters oh, away. Shit. Okay. Well, okay, yeah. So this guy is going to then take, like, uh, yeah, full auto burst of, uh, of uh, stick and chuck. Gonna... Okay. All right. There we go. Uh, so this guy is this guy. Why does it seem like Confusing World is... is, is not as effective here as it was in front of oh, the... uh, well because you only got four hits instead of the amount that you got last time which was a lot more um actually sadly okay all right and how many how many bullets did you say this was oh, that's, that's a full auto so full auto complex action so that's 10 bullets so minus nine yeah. defense all right here we go gonna roll some defense uh so we're... And that's stick and chuck, by the way. Yep. Here we go. Defense. Yeah. So that would be seven, eight, nine stun, 
at minus five. Minus five, five AP. Uh, but there is that, so. So he takes two stun. Um, and he loses some initiative. And he loses some initiative. And he's at minus one to a lot of things, so. Um, boom, boom. That, and then this. Cool beans, as beans go. Okay. Gertrude, what's up? What's going on here? Um, what is this? This uh, gray structure, is that the garage or the car? It's not a garage, it's a covering. So if you, uh, there, you could definitely, you can drive through that. There are some supports, but you could drive right through that um, if you wanted to. Oh, there's a couple of bikes in there. You might hit them. Uh, it, it seems worth it to pull around back. Okay, so what I'm hearing is you're going to gun the engine, drive off the road, and try to get around here. Yes. Excellent. Did I do that? I did do that. I was fixing our opening screen there, and I removed the Darcy from that screen. But that's okay, because Darcy exists in many places. And in our hearts. And in our hearts. Darcy is... Uh, about that big, I'd say. Okay, great. One of the real weaknesses of Roll20 is that when the map, when you're zooming out, you can't then make the map go to the center of your screen because it's like, nah, you, you don't have, you can see the whole thing, but like, I have stuff over there that's covering it. All right. So Darcy is rolling up. Uh, I'm going to say you, you get to just before the awning, uh, make a pilot test. Uh, you are either trying to avoid hitting anything, or you're trying to hit their bikes. Uh, either way, but let me know which which it is. Preferably avoid hitting things, just to okay. not get bikes under my my tires. Okay, okay. Yeah, you're like sailing right under. You just, you're able to actually make the calculation. Like the top of the awning is just high enough. Great. Um, and you just kind of zip, uh, you're zipping under that at this moment right now. When the fellow that you shot, uh, as he was going to turn and try to go inside, uh, instead he's going to try to, that's why. Hmm. Interesting. All right, come back over here, you and you. You guys move up. Excellent. So, um, yeah, the guy that he was he was about to run inside, but then he turns and is attempting to shoot at you with um is Ruger Super Warhawk because that's that's apparently the favored gun of Swamp. Yeah, they seem to like it. Yeah. So here we go, Etienne. What's the range uh, of a Ruger Super Warhawk? Far. You okay. you are far. So sure. it's, it's not it's not the best. He's yeah. Uh, I thought that was kind of far. He's just throwing bullets down range. So. Yeah, just a quick and easy uh, defense there, and... Naha! It's in the... Uh, stuff shooting for a second and makes a, a, um, a Dark Souls roll as he's getting shot at and gets back up and keeps with his uh, Neo Anarchist uh, shock troop training as moving forward, and he's going to start shooting again when he can. Okay.
Ternico. Yes. It is your turn. All of these guys have clumped up together, pretty much. Well, it's time to go boom, I think. Where are they clumped at? I mean, right, right behind you. Like, I have enough. Do I have? Can I get outside? All right. So, here's the deal. That window is closed. You can use a simple action to push it open and go outside. But I left it open. Then, no, no. It's, it's not up. locked, or you don't have to do any latches, but you are going to have to push it open. So it's only going to be a simple action to do, as opposed to a complex action to get it all open. Remember, I said I left it. Open. Yeah, so, you, you, so you're still going to like put your hand there and have to push the door open. That's okay. what I'm saying. So that takes more time than just running through, right? You can run through. It's glass, and you can hope it's not bulletproof. Glass. Why well, would be it's... ridiculous? But if you just run through, then you just run through, and it doesn't take any action. But you, it could, you could get cut, maybe a little bit. I don't know. Uh, or, and then you could either way. Then you could turn around, and cast the spell, because you could cast it either um, uh, as a. Uh, it's the word just jumped out of my head, but recklessly. You can, reckless. You can cast it recklessly, and it just it adds to the drain, but it's a low drain spell anyway. Or you can cast it from where you're standing and just put the center of it far enough away from you that you're not in the center of it. So those are your options. The van is right here. The van is coming. It's on its van way. The van is coming. Um, I want, so you're saying if I go outside, it's reckless casting? If you go, if you take the time to push the door open before going outside, yes, it's reckless. If you crash through the glass, I thought reckless and, casting was when you cast more than one spell in a row. Well, it's when you cast a spell as a simple action, not a complex action. And since if you use a simple action, you can you have two simple actions or one complex action per turn. So normally a spell is a complex action. So, All right, so I'm going to go outside and then I'm going to cast it. Okay, as a as a reckless spell. Mm hmm. Okay, so you do not run through the glass. You run outside, and you turn around and cast it at full. Uh, can I hold action? Because there's nowhere to cast it because they're still inside. Why don't you, you cast it inside at them. You can see inside to cast it in there. Oh, okay. And then it's going to explode there. And... So then I want to cast Blast. Yes. Wait, wait. Yes, Blast is one, can hit more than one target. Yes, Blast is the spell you're trying to cast here. And I guess, was it seven that we said I shouldn't cast it lower than? Yeah, you don't want to cast that lower than seven, really. Uh, no, that's a different spell. This that's spell, cloud. you want to... Um, this spell, there's... Potentially, you could hurt yourself casting this spell, but, um, but also, it will hurt a lot of them, so... It's I'm going to go for seven. Okay, seven. Damn it. No, that's yeah, perfect. There you go. Cast it at seven and got seven. Um, but the drain, the drain is going to be hardcore. Yeah, <gasps> not really. Nice, good one. Wow, oh, that really? was uh, that was pretty good. So you only got uh, you only took one drain from that, uh, and uh, that was actually a really good roll, all things considered. Um, Nico's a G right now. Oh, yep, I love this kid. Um, all right. Everyone so, would have been dead if this was Kaida. <laughs> yeah. Minus seven. What is their armor class? Armor class five. Okay. Well, here we go. For what go? Uh, I'm I'm rolling their their their. Uh, yes, the enemy are trying to. I, I was just laughing because I rolled that one and he got zero hits out of. Anyway. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's um. <laughs> 
it's funny to me because it's like Nico kind of gets a little bit, you know, overconfident about something and then realizes maybe he's in too much shit and gets like worried, but then he's like postures anyway. And then he's like, Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. And then, and, but then he's like, yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to throw the shit out of you. <laughs> What's happening right now? Well, he can't kill anybody, so it's like, fuck. Uh, he's not killing them, but he's going to suddenly knock the fuck out of them with that. <laughs> There's a puppy. <laughs> of course. <laughs> He's my little boy. Oh, you're so puppy. All right. Well, um. <laughs> so, wait, that's only one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the guy in the front is seven. So that means there's some guy. There, there are walls in the way. So, this spell, the walls will actually kind of protect. No, uh, my I, point is not not about that. My point is that no. there's somebody in the house still in the darkness that we can't see that's just confused. <laughs> uh yeah, there's some people that are like, what the hell is going on? That's you keep saying people. I thought there were eight people in total. Uh eight or nine, something like that. I said you saw eight people in the house. Right. So that doesn't include the guy in the front. Um yeah, he would be Outside of the house. So that means there's two people in the house somewhere who are just like having nightmares and shit. Something like that. Well, <laughs> I mean, funny. whatever's going on with them is going on. All right. So um, as you do that, it knocks everybody in that room to the ground. Uh, and nobody is getting up just yet. You don't see anybody moving, but uh, hard to say if, uh, if they're all down for the count completely. But, um, and you have 13, so you move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You have three movement left if you wanted to continue moving this round. Oh, I want to keep, I want to move toward the car. <laughs> okay. So, sure. I'll say you get to about there because that's the direction you were turned, but you are now out of movement. Next. Guy. Next. Oops. <laughs> God, I'm about to have to dodge all these fucking bullets and shit. Yeah, but they kind of suck at it now that you heard them and they're in the chaotic world, so, you know. Yeah, they, uh, what is this one? Okay. You see, as you're running and looking back through the open window, you see like one hand kind of grab at like the counter, like to pull themselves up and then slides off and then comes back up and one of the guys kinds of stands up uh and he stumbles over to the door here um and tries to shoot at you let's find out if you get shot at he is not doing good at all who the guy's about to shoot you bang ah. yeah that goes wide. There is you, you don't even have to dodge because you know that was so bad. Uh, Etienne. Uh, okay, well, Etienne is gonna keep making his way. He, he realized now that he should have stayed in the car, but you know, <laughs> that's my favorite thing. Is like everyone like everyone ex ex fills the car and then the car goes around in, and I was like, ah. <laughs> He's gonna keep on running towards the end of the thing but he's going to keep on shooting so at this point you have exhausted all of your movement that is oh, not yeah, that's special. true yeah 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 so right you can... well we we still need to go in and we probably still, still <laughs> need to take care of all these people so he's going to get the 
He's gonna aim to reset his recoil and then take a six round burst. Okay. Because I believe that's a simple action for a six round. It is. Auto. When you're on full right. auto, it is definitely. Okay. <laughs> oh. oh. The accuracy is eight, so I get to keep all of that. Yeah, um, his defense is, uh, he rolls zero dice for oh. his defense. Okay, so that's 15 stun minus five AP. Okay, well, um, he probably should have done something besides shoot back at you. He probably should have gone inside. He didn't go inside, and so instead what happens is he um, hits the bird. Good. Quite, yeah. quite unconscious. Uh, yes. It's uh, lit up. You're like just like shooting, 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 and then and as you're like running in, and he kind of gets up in one like bullet hits him in the shoulder, you're like, Rah, and he tries to shoot at you, and then you just bring it up and brap every my, single one. My, uh, my Dark Souls roll, I, I get on a knee, brrr, and then I keep on going. Yep. It was uh it's pretty cool. Like if someone was like filming that, that could be a highlight. I, I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I mean from your vantage point. Oh yeah, I guess you have the drone up there if you want to have the camera on. That's uh, but then there's, there's a chance that that'll leak out into the world. Then your public awareness goes up. You become famous. Um, uh, maybe not that far. Yeah. All public right. So too much. that was Etienne. This guy. That's what he's gonna do. Gertrude. So I'm going to keep moving the van towards Nico and sort of uh, pull around so that the doors will open and uh, yell out the window. Um, Did you get it? What are we doing? So, like, if, since that's the first thing she says to him, he's literally like, <laughs> he's not laughing. Duryea is laughing. He is not laughing. <laughs> he is pissed. So, I don't have any moves. So, I wait. But <laughs> he just, he's like, he just like stops, turns around, like, <sighs> <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> oh man! So, yeah, that's what happens. Um, you know, gets another turn. No, oh! I get another turn. You too. Oh my goodness! Where am I at, child? Let me go ahead and get in this damn van. Um. So, and, and I'm gonna say, drive, drive, drive. You could summon a spirit and have the spirit get it, like a little one. I got you, but for this moment, I want to not be near this house. So right. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to say, drive, drive, but then I'll add, but not too far, but get the hell out of here. All right, you are now, uh, yeah, oh my God. climb into Gertrude uh, and <laughs> are, yelling, are yelling to drive. So, so this is going to be no. No more initiative. So that's it. So that's the end of the initiative. Okay. So and now, it. um, what's that? Now I'm gonna is it because Etienne is still on the ground there? Is he? Y you are, but I think what did you roll a twin a seventeen? Oh yeah, that's the end of that turn of initiative, but it's not the end. <laughs> yeah, of that's the end of yeah, that's the end of the turn. I'm in. Okay, uh, so yeah, okay. Uh, so everybody now can go ahead and roll. A uh, new initiative. Really? Right, because we got to get an Etienne. Oh. 
You wanted to, but no valid token was selected. Aha. Uh -huh. so oh, because your token, token is invisible. Uh, let me yes. add your token back. Oops. My token is invisible. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Your token is back on the. What is going on here? Okay. There you go. It's tokens. You see it, Dre? It moved. I moved it up in the corner a little bit to represent. I, I it, guess. Yeah, I see. I see it. All right. Simply irresistible. I feel um. I can't think of the words, but there's a song that I'm thinking of that feels very Dernico right now. It's a Bon Jovi song, and it's in my head. So, well, you keep it that way. Yep. Well, I was if I was going to sing it, I would have sang it. Now I'm tempted to sing it. No, oh, that. Please don't. Oh wow, the shade is real over there. Nico, <laughs> it's your turn. It's my yeah, turn. Go ahead. Yeah. I guess I'll summon that spirit. Okay. Uh, what for? Let's hope my side in game. I'm gonna summon them at six. Hey, get my summon game on lock. Damn it. I closed out of my character sheet. Yep. Now you but I remember yeah. the process. Yes. <laughs> Do I this um, right click the weird picture? I, I know, but which one? Delete element. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to summon this spirit. The spirit. I didn't tell you what strength I, I wanted it at. I did say six. Hey. Do you remember the Proud family, Uncle Bobby? Jen, of course you remember. You're so... You're, you're invited to the cookout, okay? Oh, thanks. You've probably already been at the cookout, clearly. <laughs> you know who Uncle Bobby is, so you know you've been at the cookout. All right. Six is the drain that you have to stand up against, and you do not summon a spirit. Don't pass out. Shit. How do I deter? Damn it! How do I deter? I'm. I'm just the drain, right drain button under magic. So it's. I gotta got do the thing again. I don't know how. I, I gotta do the thing. Again. All right. All right so. I'm gonna push it for you right now because. Um... No, I got it. Oh, okay. Well, the DC is in the car, so if he passes out. So that's two more uh, stun, uh, which you, you have a decent amount of stun, don't you? I think. Maybe. Yeah, I have a lot left. It's because of that stuff I did before. Um, yeah. Yeah, you, you, that doesn't take you down. Mm -mm. I mean, I wouldn't say you have a lot left. I would just say that that doesn't I have a lot to what I, I would be out right now. I would be yeah, out. You that, would that, have. That's, that, that's, that, that's yeah. okay. It's yeah, is gonna get in there with grenades and his asshole. Oh, right. kill all the asses! And I did some of the spirit. What is going on with my spirits? Well, they, they really don't want to be. It's because it's because I did that one thing. Well, the more hurt you get, the the heart, the less dice you start rolling. Okay. Oh, uh, so okay. That's another part of it. Even if it's not physical damage. Even if it's not physical, it still hurts. Like you know. Okay. All right. Uh, Gertrude. Uh, I'm going to start, uh, I guess, backing up and headed towards where uh, Etienne is so we can grab him. Okay. Etienne. Um, Etienne is going to keep trying to make his way towards um, the back of the house because he... Actually, there seems to be a window. A window right there. So he's gonna he's gonna try and make his way there. Have a look. Okay, 
Uh, so making your way there is pretty easy. You have four movement left. Okay. Looks inside. Uh, you see movement, but it's not in the room itself. It seems to be like someone maybe just left the room. Okay, can I can can, can I have a view of how it looks in in, in there? Do I like? Is oh yeah, the window sorry. Boarded, um, or nope, nope. It's uh, there's still glass on this window. Interestingly, but I mean. If the glass is dirty, it's is probably just going to break it and throw a nade in the corridor if possible, but... Sure. Yeah, you could definitely do that. You have not done an action yet, so just... Earlier yeah, than his is. idea would be to, like, break the window and throw a flashbang right there to see if it can, like, affect as much people as he saw in the back from the camera. When uh, He's not exactly sure that people are in the same area, but he's going to try that. Okay. Go ahead and give us a grenade throwing roll, because it'd be good. Ah, oh, perfect. Five hits. All right. Um, oops. Just now. Oh, yeah, I could have just pressed that, but... So, okay, and okay. This guy is, you hear the satisfying sound of somebody Flashback. slumping to the ground. Okay, that's good. But the less satisfying sound of someone going, <laughs> Okay. And with that, we're going to call it for the evening because it is 10 o'clock. Um, Durye is in the vehicle uh, holding on. Uh, Gertrude's about to swing around to see that Etienne is at the doorway. Uh, yeah. And ready to get in to go and get whatever they need inside. That's right. So, um, yeah, it looks like mostly, probably mostly done. Just maybe a little cleanup crew stuff here, you know, just uh, see how Etienne, Etienne handles, um, handles an axe, uh, probably. This is his shovel. Maybe, uh, maybe he's going to be a good. Oh, actually, it's, it's his turn. I'm going to take that turn because I don't want to be Aww. at the end of the initiative round. So this guy comes running back out. Not that guy. That guy's unconscious. This guy comes running back out and sees you. Uh, yells something unpleasant. I think this guy is... Yeah, there we are. Ooh. Does he have minuses <clears throat> for swinging me through a window? Yes, you have cover, basically. Nice. All right, here it comes. <laughs> Jesus. One hit. You are at minus two to your defense because of the... Um, okay, okay. I'll... Uh... Reach. I, I see a 12P minus 4 AP. That, that I don't like, but... I think I'm just going to roll for defense, and if there's something, <laughs> then I'm going to use edge. Or uh, <laughs> If you oh. don't get one hit. Yeah, and I, and I, I was given a, a, a free hit earlier by uh, our good friend Ken. I mean, yeah, there you go. So even... I, I'm still going to roll there, and let's use that to make it two to make sure that there's no... Yeah, you duck under, and that um, that axe grinds into the windowsill there. Uh, so that's where everyone's going to be next week when we uh, return to find out if the canister is even in the house. Fuck's sake. 
So uh, once again, thanks everybody who joined us. Um, thank you for everybody who helped keep Nico alive. Um, thank you. Thanks. Uh, this is pretty good considering, especially that we're down two this week. Um, and um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a very interesting uh, couple of weeks with the Kickstarter going, uh, still maintaining our streaming schedule, and uh, you know everybody's just uh, just really kind of jumped on board to to make this great uh appreciate durier shouting us out uh where wherever will nelly media is at and um you know all the amazing you know reviews that you can go and check out and uh and just other places that have been pushing it so we're really pleased uh i'm blown away i think i keep saying that like suddenly i don't have extra words to describe feelings uh you know i'm a writer uh so with that um yeah uh Durye still has talk it outs on uh every thursday um and we're gonna play some among us this friday on the community yeah. game, right so uh, everyone that's that's watching uh can join us on the discord and have fun with us on friday night uh murdering each other in space okay or in the clouds or in the uh, uh like ten and all the wonderful places you can murder yeah and murder and murder and um yeah yes so. don't listen there's also an episode of the spot that's coming out the spot is a newscast that um i produced in conjunction with is conjunction the right word i'm gonna uh, say it is with um the springer it's opera house options. yeah yeah the springer opera house is the state theater of georgia so we did this newscast and danny was on the latest episode which will probably be up sometime this week he and i reviewed a movie and it I, it went really well so it might it probably will happen again so check that out and I'll let y'all know. I'm just there. curious, uh, what, what movie did you guys review? Uh, it was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom because the theater I work for uh, is also the theater where she performed her first performance in her hometown. Nice. So it, it they have a connection to it. So that's the one we are going. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to do many different types of films. I hope it was actually a really good segment. It was a lot of fun. Danny had a lot of interesting things to say. I did it. It was fun. It was a good time. It was it was nice to uh to do some light analysis on a on a really great film. So and then um talk it out Thursdays and then um we're also doing writer writing sprints on my Twitch channel, which is Day Gamer. And we're gonna do writing sprint. Writing sprints are basically where, like, if you're a writer, even if you're not a writer, if you just, like, are a procrastinator like me, so we'll get together for, like, about two or three hours, and then we'll have a sprint, which would be, like, ten minutes, where for those ten minutes, all you do is your task. You don't get on the phone. You don't do anything else. So I would just write for ten straight minutes, or some people use it to, like, fold their laundry or fix the shelf or whatever that thing you're postponing. And then, then we'll take a break for like eight minutes. And in those eight minutes, we'll either discuss what we wrote. Maybe we'll put up a writing prompt and you'll write on the writing prompt and then you'll throw it up on the screen and we'll discuss it. Or we'll just, we'll just talk for eight minutes. And then after the eight minutes over, we do another sprint and then we break and then we sprint and then we break and then we sprint and then we'll do that for the three hours. And then we hang out, we listen to music, we drink wine. It's chill. It's fun. We do that every Saturday at six, six o'clock on Saturday is day gamer. So just a really good way to like just kind of crank some writing out, like just to say, you know, not even worrying necessarily about like how how good or whatever it is, but just to just to get it done, get it on, get it on paper. And then at the end, you know, read it, talk about it during that eight minute break period. So sounds really cool, actually. Um, it's dope because it forces you to not self edit in the moment. Because you just like. Yeah, I'm horrible at that. So it forces me for 10 minutes to just be like, screw what I write, put something on the page. And then once you have it there, then later you can go back and do. All. And honestly, you'll find that a lot of what you just write is so usable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So, um, Wonelli Media, W O E, not W H O A or anything like that. W O E, Nelly, N E L L Y Media, uh, on Facebook um is where you'll find you can find them for sure uh and then from there you can explore the the vast array of things that durier is is doing with uh with his with his company so check it out uh 
keep uh, keep tuned with us at uh, Rem Alternus. Uh, we, you know, we still got our full streaming schedule going, and um, you know, check out the Kickstarter if uh, if you haven't already. Uh, with that, uh, we'll see everybody next week. <laughs>